Yeah. Let me turn this up a little. Oy, oy, oy. Chat, I am not on my hot girl shit. Do you ever think that about yourself? I just wear hoodies every day and I don't do my makeup and I've just given up. I think I've just given up. It's baking time. It's baking time. I'm a man. Oh, cool. Then you are able to give up. Oh, sigh, 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 sigh. I've done my makeup in like two years. Yeah, I just, you know, I like want to be on that hot girl shit, but it's just like too much work. But I also know, as sad as it is, do you guys want to know something really sad? You get more viewers when you do your hair and makeup. You just do. It's just how the world works. It's like, genuinely there's statistics behind it. But like, there's nothing in my heart and soul that wants me to dress nice and do my makeup today. And I thought about it for a really long time, I did. I laid in bed, I thought about outfits. I even like had a spurt where I was like, I'm gonna buy better clothes and just get rid of my hoodies so then I don't wanna wear them. And then I was like, never mind, I'll put on a hoodie. <laughs> Fuck that noise. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just tired. I'm so tired. Cloth, do you think of the 15 months? Do what Dolly Parton does, only wear wigs, never have to do your hair again, just put it on. Dude, but even putting on wigs are so hard. Putting on a wig is so hard unless you have someone do it for you. Are you okay? Never. Genuinely. My prime. Okay, I'm better now. Thank you for the six months. Always wear a hat. I've lost all my good hats. Just get a buzz cut? No. Shave your hair? No. Liz, thank you for the sub. Buy new hats then? No, I don't want to do anything. Me. A me edge. Messy bun, that's literally what I have. Dry, dry shampoo helps me, no, my hair's not dirty. I just don't wanna do it because my hair's so fried that I hate doing it. Don't do anything that I didn't. Uh, I didn't. Have you considered becoming a toad and sunning on a lily pad? I want to. Is that deodorant on the counter? Yes, I bought deodorant. Do you want to talk about it? Yeah. What should we talk about, chat? Holy shit. Holy shit. Ticklish man, think of the 20. Insane. Insane. Wow. Anyone want to go to work for me today? Yeah, you want to switch? Then why aren't you okay? Oh, we don't need to get into it. <laughs> it. Takes forever. I like that you don't get made up for streams. It makes you relatable. Oh, but then it's also like, no wonder I have bad self-confidence because I don't like put any effort into how I look. Uh, you should ask what they do before you offer to ship jobs. True. Baking pause. Hi, Z hi Zamboree. Yeah, I'm just cozy. I'm on a chair right now. These are my knees. Uh, these are my knees. Dude, you're fine. I know I'm fine, but I'm just saying, like, I should put more effort into it. At the end of the day, nobody cares what you look like, probably. I feel like people don't care if you're ugly. And they don't care if you're okay. They only care if you're hot. And 
You know, that's just a lesson on life. <laughs> that's just a lesson on life. Only dress up if you want to. I want to, but when I dress up, it's weird because when most people dress up, I feel like they feel more confident. When I dress up, I feel more insecure. I'm like, oh, what does my arms look like? What does my hair look like? Rachel, blah, blah, blah. I do my makeup right. Rachel, thank you for the two months. I don't know. It's a whole thing. Do you guys want to see my toes? I'm actually too comfy. We're going to end stream. You guys always say no when I offer to show my toes. Wolf, thank you for the prime. You know what? Yes. Oh, never mind. I don't like that he said yes. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I want to dress up and look cute. Also me. Why is everyone perceiving me? Why do I exist? Smile. Wait, I haven't eaten today. That's probably why I'm grumpy. I've only had candy. Should I eat? Chat, sometimes I go live just because I need emotional support. Is that unhealthy? Heaven, thank you for the sub. Do you guys want to hear something really sad? I need to be yelled at for this. Are you ready? Are you guys ready? Okay, guess what I did. There's, come on, there's he. Remember how a week ago I made so many cakes? I made like six cakes and I decorated two of them and I froze like the other four. Or so we thought. I didn't actually freeze them. I put them in the fridge and I didn't wrap them in saran wrap. So they're dry as fucking chalk. So they're garbage. I know. She's the worst. Not even K-pop quality. They're literally like crackers. I know. Biggest L. Waste of food, waste of time, waste of everything. Okay, these ones were in the freezer, but I also didn't wrap them. So you should always wrap your cakes in saran wrap when you freeze them. I didn't do that. And so we're going to let them thaw and see how... Uh, if these ones are salvageable. The ones in the fridge were not salvageable. Saliva. But these ones might be. So we'll see. Can you drizzle sugar water on it? These ones might be able to. The other ones were not. They were, they were, they were not. It was like try, if you were trying to make a cake out of a graham cracker. It's just not going to happen. But we'll see. Mateo, thank you for the prime. How do you inject moisture back in? If, if these are not dry, because they're in the freezer, so there's a chance they aren't, I'll just put coffee on them and it'll make them all nice. Maybe you need to take a social media break. This is my job. Do you ever go to someone at work who's really overwhelmed and say, maybe you need a day off? <laughs> Hi. Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. I took a week off. It's annoying because I took a week off, but it didn't feel like taking a week off because I cried every day. Um, Zor, thank you for the 20 months. Guys, I'm just hungry, okay? Especially if they have paid vacation. I used all my paid vacation last week. Tell the fade, thank you for the 25. Durs wants to jump up here, but he also does not. Why do you cry? There's a bunch of like naked photos of me and it was like a friend and it was like all these people wanted to interview me and it was really draining to talk about the same thing over and over again and to ex try to simplify trauma to people that want to um, uh, invalidate it. It's a whole thing. A, it was a little more exhausting than I think I admitted. You want a french fry? Yes. Can I have one, please? Peace. All the interviews are finished at least. I have one more email from Entertainment Tonight and one more email from the Good Morning Today or something. And one more email from CNN, but I, I don't think I'm gonna do them. I don't think I'm interested. I think I've, I've done 
I've done what I can. Uh, I think I've done the. I think I've done it. Valentine cookies. Valentine cookies. You want hot chocolate and french fry? Yeah, I do. But I can't have it because I need to lose 10 pounds for the stupid streamer awards. Ah! Uh! Roxy, thank you for the nine. Yeah, I did a lot of the interviews. So a lot of the girls opted out of doing the interviews because right now, if you Google any of the girls, all that comes up is deep fake porn. And if you were to do these interviews, it just continues that narrative that you don't necessarily want a part of your history of your career, right? And so a lot of, a lot of the girls declined doing the interviews. But since a lot of girls declined, some of them asked me if I would do one. They were like, will you still do one? And I was like, fuck. And I debated for a really long time if I wanted to say yes or not. And I thought about saying no, because Streamer Awards is coming up and I'd rather that be what people are seeing of me. Um, but for the sake of like my niece in 10 years being on the internet, for the sake of uh, an 18 year old streamer that wants to start streaming, someone had to do something, so. So I did it. But I think I'm, I think I'm done. I don't think I can do any more. I think I'm exhausted. Um, I did all I could. I literally did eight interviews the other day. It was awful. Um, it is a lot of pressure and it's more than like, I think a lot of people don't realize it's more than just like that insular moment that happened. I think like ta being taken advantage of and being violated is uh, if you've experienced it before in your life, it's very uh, like a residual pain that um, can be re-triggered and it's like a whole thing. And so it's just been more painful than I think a lot of people can. It's just a very emotionally draining to also then have this conversation over and over again, not with a medical professional, right? These are just like random people interviewing you who are very kind, but it's just like, here we go again. Let me talk about how this feels like being sexually assaulted as a child, like, you know, like, I don't know, it's, it's just a fucked up thing. Um, but anyway, I'm fine. I'm so good right now. I should eat food. Do you go to therapy? I do go to therapy. I used to go to therapy twice a week, but now I'm only going once a week because I don't have time because the stream rewards to go twice a week. And honestly, it was starting to bother me. I was starting to resent therapy and I didn't want to have that conversation with my therapist. So I went back to once a week and uh, yeah. But today chat, I want to grab one of my cookbooks, cookbooks um, and we're going to pick out a cake for me to bake because I want to make a little Valentine's cake. I have an idea in my brain of what I want it to look like. I bought little conversation hearts and we'll see, I think like a light pink, like white cake with conversation hearts and then we're gonna make some valentine cookies and we're gonna make those uh look like because some of them look like conversation hearts and some of them look like just cute like stuff um i don't know caleb thank you for the year that sounds like it'll be fun to see thanks thanks guys Should I ask my crush to my Valentine? No, Bernie, because I'll say no, and then you'll complain about it here, and I'm sick of you complaining. <laughs> you and Jamie Club when? Dude, I don't know. Do, 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 do. My ex blocked me. Do you think she was hanging on Valentine's Day? Uh, yeah, for sure. Does your therapist mention what approach they use, like behaviors, humanistic, etc.? No, 
Uh, I I don't know. Uh, we're, we mostly do EMDR. I don't know if that's helpful. My ex got married to someone who's having a kid. Do you think she wants to hang out on Valentine's Day? Um, yeah, worth a shot, I think. Worth a shot, guys. How's book club going? I'll be honest, chat. I have not read the book. I can't get myself to do it. I haven't read it all. Because there was another book that Soren recommended I read. And I, ha I just haven't been able to pick up any books. I also bought those books I was excited about. And I haven't picked up those either. I'm just not being a book girl. Okay? All of my, all of my good habits, I have lost them. I'm losing my good habits. I was very good for a while. But then the porn thing happened and I really, it really <laughs> fucked me up. Think of the five months and I don't know why it fucked me up so bad. I'll be really, 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 really honest. I have no clue why. I mean, like I can understand why, but it feels like a little dramatic. Can I? <laughs> Struder, thank you for the six months. Okay, do you guys think I should stand up or what? Would listen to an audiobook help? Well, that's cheating. That's cheating in the book club. In the book club, we're supposed to read the book. Hello. Crimson, thank you for the uh, sub. I'm gonna weigh myself. Guys, how much do you think my hoodie weighs? So I know how much to subtract. <laughs> 12 pounds? <laughs> Fifty pounds. Okay, perfect. Okay, I'm up. I'm up. I'm walking over to the scale. I just want to know. I'm just curious because I skipped the gym twice this week because I didn't feel good and I haven't been sleeping. Oh my god! I haven't lost a pound. What's the point? <laughs> What's the point, Chad? Remember when I lost seventeen pounds? Well, I gained back ten of it, so and I can't lose it. Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. You're so real. I just wanna, I'm just mad. Did you subtract 50? I'm at 159. She made dark choco or regular choco cake. Weight fluctuates? I know, but I was down to 150. It was so sick. I was down to 150 like three months ago. And then I went on my cookie kick. Do you guys remember my cookie kick? I was ordering cookies like every night. <laughs> yeah, we probably shouldn't have done that. It wasn't very, but I love, I, listen, I loved it. I was having a good time for the month of November and December when I was on my cookie kick. It was great. Um, But the issue is, is it took me eight months to lose the 17 pounds and then like two months to gain 10 pounds. And that was, that's fucked up. That's really fucked up. I would like to say that that shouldn't be a thing. Um, all right. You can do it again. I know I can lose the weight again. I'm just mad because stream rewards is a month and I was getting fit and then I... <sighs> Chat, just let me complain. Let me vent, okay? I haven't had a boyfriend for two weeks. I just need to yell. I need to yell at the world. Put this chair on my head. Ugh. You should go to a rage room. No, because I'm too tired to rage. I'm too tired. All I feel is tired and anger. Me. Okay, we're gonna make a carrot salad. Are you guys ready? <laughs> I 
This is going to be so yummy. It's going to taste just like yummy cereal. Ow, fuck. I just cut my finger. God damn it. I think she needs G fuel. Carrot salad? Yeah, it's not good. It's not good. Why is chat acting like her inner conscience? If you didn't make your ch Twitch chat into an echo chamber of your thoughts, then what's the point in having a Twitch chat? I have my one brain cell that's funny and that's represented by Lady Biatch. Um, Johnny, thank you for the 15 months. Can I have a cookie? No. Let's make a carrot cake instead. We could make a carrot cake. I do have carrots. I made soup yesterday, chat. It's so bad. I also still have both mine and Ray's cakes in this fridge and I don't know what to do with them. Are there even carrots and carrot cakes? Yeah. I'm like the one hate watcher, but I'm too lazy to hate. Yeah, Ray didn't take her cake. Kind of soup, chicken noodle, but I burnt it and it tastes like shit. I make chicken noodle all the time. And I fucked it up. Priscilla, thank you for the two months. How'd you burn it? Well, I, um, you know, you saute your celery, your aromatics, your celery, your onion, your carrots. And I was sauteing them, but then I had to let Swift out and I walked away from the pan and I came back and they were burnt. Oh, so sad. It was homemade, so that's how I burnt it. All right, carrot salad. All you do is peel your carrots. Yum. How are your pet foxes doing? I can't call them pets anymore because incels on the internet got mad and sent Maya hate emails. <laughs> so cringe. Can there's no fun in the world without people getting angry. My bad. Yeah, Bernie. Have fun anyway. No, I mean, I would if it didn't affect Maya, but Maya's getting like hate emails and I don't want it to be a thing. I, that's not a, another thing she should have to deal with, you know, all because I think I want to be funny. No polar bear then? No. Is it possible to bake sober or just less effective? I don't know what that means. Are you insinuating that I'm drunk right now? Because I assure you I'd be much happier if I was. You guys, one time I tried to be an alcoholic. <laughs> like, how do I explain this? Like I was having really bad depression and I was having really bad anxiety and I thought to myself, maybe if I just drank, it would go away and I'd feel better. And so I try to like drink, but it didn't work for me. It didn't work, so I couldn't become an alcoholic. It just didn't work. I didn't feel better drinking. I was like, great, now I'm just still depressed, but drunk. <laughs> I don't know why thinking of becoming an alcoholic felt like a better solution than like <laughs> being sad all the time, but it did. It did. It did. <laughs> Listen, I know alcoholism isn't a joke, but I'm not kidding. <laughs> I would rather be addicted to that than as depressed as I was at the time. It didn't work, but I guess that's a blessing. All right, ready? Now, this is how we make carrot salad. QVC Poggies, one QVC Poggies. Microdose mushrooms, my therapist told me I'm not a good candidate for that. Or ketamine. And I was like, you're boring. <laughs> okay, this is how you make carrot salad. The ingredients consist of carrot. <laughs> And you go like this. Mmm. 
and you make these really thin, long shards of carrot. It's gonna be so yummy. So good. Fuck. Oh, and one thick one. <laughs> I don't really know how to get the top. I don't think it's possible. I guess you just eat the top. <laughs> oh, I just drooled so much. <laughs> what are you making? Carrot salad is so good. I want everyone to know I'm gaslighting myself into thinking this is good. It's not good. But man, it's so good. Mmm. It's so yummy. I'm so excited. Okay. Yum. But I don't get it. How are you supposed to get this part thin? QTC heart. QTC okay. QTC heart. I just don't want to waste it. Can you grate it? No, you're supposed to have any really long ribbons of carrot. I saw a skinny girl eating this on TikTok, okay chat? Let me be her. Am I her now? Is this a spiral? Is this what spiraling looks like? <laughs> All right, I have to eat this part because I don't want it to go to waste. All right. Hmm. <laughs> Whatever. I'm over it. Okay. What goes in carrot salad? Well, don't you worry. Here's the good part. Then, you fuck. My stew ever. You grab yourself some salt, some pepper, and some lemon juice. <laughs> I've made this like 12 times. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> it's not good, but it's like two calories. And you just drizzle some, the seed fell in there, but I guess I'll eat it. <laughs> you drizzle some lemon juice on it, yum. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then some salt. Mm. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. <laughs> this is so depressing. I don't know. Salt and then some pepper. That might have been too much salt. I just kept going. Yum! Dinner is served. Who's excited? Mm mm mm. Yay! <laughs> All right, go get your snack. Let's eat together. 
Mmm, <coughs> you gotta mix it up. Gotta make sure that salt and pepper and lemon juice get all over your raw carrots. Saf, thank you for the uh, bits. I love cooking. All right, mmm. My rabbit is jealous right now. Guys, it's good. Guys, it's so good. Mm. Mm. Yum. I gotta get that lemon seed out of there. Let me just finish my, my salad and then we can start baking, okay? <laughs> oh. What are you guys eating? I'm eating deck. Wow. <laughs> Why don't you, you want to go to Japan? I have a crippling fear of flying. I'm almost done with my carrot salad. Mm. I saw a lemon, oh there it is. I was like, I saw a lemon seed and then I lost it. Did you oil them? Mm -mm. It's not bad. It would just take like 12 of these for me to be full, you know? Olive oil, no. Do a dress try on stream for the awards again? Last time I had a temper tantrum, so I feel like I didn't earn another dress try on stream. Why'd you get mad? I just couldn't find a dress I liked and I got really sad at the end. People like that stream? I know, but I didn't feel good. And I don't know if the girls liked it. People did like the stream. Okay, well I'm out of carrot salad, so. Now what? <laughs> Eat the lemon. Mmm. 
Yes, 11 bowls. That was so yummy. Mm, yum, 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 I'm so full. Awesome. The fullest girl in the in the world. I'm not hungry at all anymore. I'm gonna have one of these little snacks. This has cheese and meat in it. Citric acid gonna mess up your enamel? Well, I'm gonna eat this little cheese and meat thing. That is 310 calories? Maybe I'm not. That seems crazy. Protein, but it's only 20 grams of protein. Did you move out, Kitty? Why are so many people asking me weird questions? No, this is literally my house. It's not my house, it's Ludwig's house. He's in Japan, I didn't go to Japan. I haven't been in Japan for two weeks, so it's suddenly weird that people care all of a sudden. I don't like flying. I also am in the middle of planning the biggest event of my career. I couldn't go if I wanted to. Even if I wasn't afraid of flying, I wouldn't be able to go right now because I'm elbows deep in the streamer awards. There's nothing, like I literally have been working every day on streamer awards. How can we help you with the stream awards? In my Discord, you can add clips from last year that you liked. We worked on the stream awards for a few hours yesterday and a few hours the day before. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hi, Swifty Bug. Are you my favorite bug in the world? She's eating a lemon? Yeah. When did we get paid for our shift yesterday? Awkward. Let's find a cake we want to make, huh? I don't know if I like milk bars recipes, but we're gonna do that mouthwash in the kitchen. It's in my room now. Okay, chat. I'm gonna read out flavors. Can you guys tell me if they sound good?
Oh, we don't have the stuff for that one. <laughs> okay, we don't have the stuff for a lot of this stuff. <laughs> Looking good so far. Twelve months. That's basically year peepo pod. Happy year. What cookbook is this? This is Milk Bar's cookbook. I've never made a cake out of it. And at the moment, I'm not sold on anything. These are all crock pot cakes, which is a weird niche to put in the cake book. <laughs> not really sure about this. All right, <clears throat> here we go. We can just do birthday cake, which is just funfetti. We can do chocolate. Huge. Have you ever done cooking streams? Yeah. Corn and blueberry. I don't really want to make corn cake. Not really sold on that. The hell is a corn cake? It's essentially just cornbread with frosting on it. <clears throat> this book sucks. Arnold, Arnold Palmer. Lemon tea, I don't have lemon tea. I'd like to try a new, a new flavor. White album cupcakes. Why are they called white? It's just vanilla cupcakes. It's just vanilla cake. What does that even mean? Ugh. Sometimes I get so mad. Lemon meringue cupcakes. We could do lemon cake if you want. <clears throat> That's an interesting idea. I'll keep my finger over on lemon cake. Key lime, we don't have, we don't have lime. Bro, is there a table of contents? Strawberry coconut. That sounds yummy. Where is the table of contents where I could just like read what's all in this book? Do I not have one? It's annoying. Everybody makes cookbooks wrong. <laughs> Someday I'll make a cookbook chat and it'll be good because I've looked at so many cookbooks that I think everyone makes them wrong. Why do you not have a table of contents? Ugh, so annoying. Okay, coconut. The strawberry frosting for me. Chocolate again. German chocolate. We don't have banana, we can't do banana. OK. 
cake truffles, yuck. No, no cake truffles, that's yucky. Get me out of here, we're not making cake truffles. Get me out. No cake truffles. Why did I buy this book? This is a dumb book to buy. I don't like half the shit they make. <coughs> I sound like such an angry girl. I hate them. Shenanigans, thank you for the 15 months. Why do they have so many cake truffles? Who wants cake truffles? Who's doing this? It's just balls of cake rolled together. It's yucky. Key lime, we can't do that one. I just feel very uninspired. Strawberry lemon, we already talked about that. Maybe we'll do the lemon cake here. Keep my finger in it. Dolce de leche, mm, I'm not feeling like, a, I'm not feeling a, a caramel moment. Are you guys feeling a, a caramel moment? No, okay. Caramel popcorn. Mm -mm. No, I'm not feeling it. I'm not. I'm not feeling it. Kane, thank you for the the prime. I think everyone here is feeling lemon based on their reaction to lemon earlier. Pineapple. We don't have pineapple. Can't do it. Do I have anything? German chocolate? No. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm not turning my people into a cake. Pretzel layer cake, but pretzel cake. How do you make a pretzel cake? Pretzel cake, page 201, hmm, weird. Pumpkin pie, no, we don't wanna do that. Swiffy, you're so sweet, I love you. Swiffy's just on the floor, over here staring at me. Pancake flavored cake. I think it's essentially just a maple syrup flavored cake. Why did I buy this book? I should have looked at this before I bought it. This is a book I will never use. I don't like any of their stuff. Cookies and cream cake. Okay. All right, well, let's just do the lemon, huh? Do you guys feel good about it, lemon? Lemon raspberry, we keep doing lemon raspberry though. Chat, I'm cold. Lemon raspberry is my favorite. Red velvet for Valentine's Day. Well, I wanted to try a recipe out of this book to see the quality of the cake. And we could do another book, sure. Wait, this recipe Doesn't even call for lemon cake, it calls for vanilla cake. Ah! Boo! We're not using this. We're not using this book. Let's grab another cookbook. Is that okay, guys? Stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Dumb. All right, we're gonna try this one. This one's pity. Red velvet would be good, guys. I don't like red velvet. Champagne cake. Ooh, I did used to have a good champagne cake recipe. I don't have any champagne though, it looks like. Sally. All right, oh, look, table of contents. 
We don't have to flip through every page. Jeez Louise. Okay, chocolate cake, devil's food cake, ginger stout cake. That's interesting. White cake. Plum and almond cake, apple crumb cake, cornmeal and olive oil cake, fennel tea cake. Okay, these ones are a little too out there. Wait, are those the only cakes she has? Oh, fuck. <laughs> we keep getting fucked. Can we do the apple one? We don't have apple stuff. I mean, honestly, I should just look and see if any of these have a lemon cake and we should just do that because <laughs> that's all I have, <laughs> if we're being honest. <laughs> I don't even know why. I just want to find it. I want to try out a recipe from a, a book. Here's Claire, everybody. I know you love her. She has a bunch of cake pictures right there, so you'd think. Here we go. This is how you do a freaking cookbook. Claire, I'll give you that. Poppy seed almond cake. Mmm, that does sound pretty good. That does sound pretty good. I might give her some credit there. Uh oh. Marscapone cake. I do have Marscapone. Shit. Lizard the Wizard, thank you for the prime. Uh oh, one second. Okay. Classic birthday cake, confetti cake. Fruit cake, coconut cake, lemon meringue cake. Okay, we could do, I'm open to the poppy seed almond cake, the mascarpone cake, or the lemon cake. What are you guys into? Mel, thank you for the three months. Oh boy, I'm gonna let you guys choose. Wait, I don't have poppy seeds. I'm not gonna let you choose. I literally don't have poppy seeds. <laughs> Why am I talking like poppy seeds are something I just have? I have chia seeds, I don't have poppy seeds and chia seeds will not work the same. They'll coagulate. I don't have poppy seeds. This is not an option. I'm so sorry for who I am as a person. I lied. I don't know why I'm like that. Okay, let me look. I'm gonna look at the mascarpone cake and the, the lemon cake. So mascarpone cake is on page No. Wait, are you telling me to make them or do you say you did it? I want to look at the Barnes Capone cake. It's on page 47 or the lemon cake is on 206. Okay, chat. 47 or 206. 47, 206. Cake, thank you, Saf. I mean, we could make both, yeah. 
you're not wrong. Mascarpone cake would be good with if I had blueberries. Maybe we'll just do both. Do you have mascarpone? I do. That's why I suggested it. Think for the 17 months. Um, 206. Or we'll just start with the lemon and then shift over to the mascarpone. Or we can do the mascarpone tomorrow. I'm trying to do my baking streams more like this, where I just kind of choose a thing. The warmest bread, thank you for the prime. Two or six. Implosive, thank you for the three months. Two or six. Marscapone is a type of cheese. I also kind of want to try her um, confetti cake recipe at some point. I just want to see if it's good. Okay, 2.06. Oh, this recipe requires more stuff than we have. one's preserved lemon. Three smalls preserved lemons. I don't even know what that means. Am I dumb? <laughs> what does that even mean? It's in a jar. It's like jam. Oh, fuck. Lemon preserves. Okay, chat. Well, we're fucked. Should I just make her confetti cake and see if it's good? Oh, on the bright side, my chocolate cake over here isn't ruined. It can still be decorated. <laughs> Should I just do something simple and just see if it's good? I'm sorry. I just want to see if I want to start testing recipes. So we're just going to go with confetti cake. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm a disappointment. In the future, I'll be more prepared. Cake. Next future. Thank you for the sub. All right, well. Classic birthday is 169 and then confetti is 171. So I'll look at classic birthday first. What's the difference between classic birthday and confetti? I wonder. Oh, chocolate is what she used for. Wait, I don't see any chocolate in this. What? Hello? Hmm. I think it's just vanilla then. Weird. All right, whatever, chat. I'm going to do, I'm just gonna do this confetti cake and we're just gonna see if we like it. Cause why not? Ah, she uses cake flour. I hate when people use cake flour in their recipes. Chat, I'm in a bad mood. Uh, 
I'm mad. I don't know why. I'm just mad. Preheated oven. But I got these cookies to decorate because I don't want to make my own because I felt tired. Throw a chair. No. People mad sit. I didn't have coffee today. Tea if you have chamomile tea bags, you can make chamomile frosting on lemon cake. Yeah, I'm just feeling uninspired. I'm just not in the mood for anything. You know, you ever get that way? So we're just gonna make confetti. I'm just not, I'm just feeling uninspired. Which I realize I have Earl Grey. We've done a lot of tea cakes. We did matcha recently. We did Earl, Earl Grey recently. We've done chamomile recently. Um. But we're just gonna make confetti, whatever. I'm feeling not interested. I'm feeling not interested in doing anything special. Okay. Okay, guys. So we're just gonna do this. All right. The grapevines, thank you for the sub. Ryan Samurai, thank you for the two months. I also haven't drinking a lot of water, so maybe I just need more water. Jedi Knight, thank you for the nine. Man, I hate when people write blurbs before the recipes. Just fucking write the recipe. Wait, this calls for so much butter. That. I need the butter for frosting. Sup, Chuck. Thank you for the sub. Uh, I guess I have this butter. Oh, I have butter for frosting. Okay, we're okay. I was being dramatic. I would like to tell the academy that I was being dramatic. It's fine. I can use this butter. Can you sub butter for oil? No, you should always, if anything, sub oil for butter. Open. Branched out and completed two of my goals. Made creme brulee and sourdough bread. I've basically never baked. Now I'm watching her stream so much more and learning so much. Wow! Thanks for the dono. Happy you're learning. I don't feel happy today. Wait, I'm so confused. She doesn't mention where she adds her sugar. Sometimes I read other people's recipes. When she, does she, where does she put her, she puts her sugar in her dry ingredients? Is 
It's against everything I've ever known. Why? Why would she do that? Reverse creaming. All right, we're learning. I've never seen this. Never heard of reverse creaming. Started my baking career making box cakes mixes at a young age. I know I'm not alone when I write my favorite was Pillsbury Funfetti. It's basically a white cake with sprinkles mixed into the batter, but the flavor is pure nostalgia. When my sister requested a Funfetti cake for a wedding, I took the opportunity to dial in the recipe for a homemade version. This is her cake scaled to make three generous nine inch layers rather than the standard mixing technique that starts with creaming together, butter, eggs, and sugar, followed by the addition of eggs, liquids, dry ingredients. This recipe uses an alternative technique called reverse creaming, pioneered by cake maven Rose Levy Benranbum that mixes the, flat and the fat and liquids directly into the dry ingredients. This method leads to layers that bake flatter with very uniform crumb. I don't know about this. I don't know about this. Listen, guys, I majored in pastry. I've never heard of reverse creaming in my life. In my life. I think she's trying to be cool, and I don't like it. Decorating QTP We're gonna try it out, but I'm not happy about it. We're gonna follow this recipe exactly, okay, chat? We're gonna follow it exactly. Prepare the pans. No. <laughs> In a stand mixer bowl with at least five quart capacity. Oops, I'm not doing that. Um, I'm not doing it in a bowl, a stand mixer bowl. I'll do it in this bowl. This is definitely five quarts. Combine flour, sugar, baking powder, salt, baking soda. Weird, I don't like it. Wait, I don't even mix this separately. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Never mind, team. This is really weird. No, I want to see. I want to see how it turns out. I'm just curious. I want to make it exactly how she makes it. I have a feeling it's gonna be dry. That's my gut, but we'll see if my gut is right or not. Homegirl's just starting with dry in the bowl. Whatever. All right, we're just throwing it in there. Cake flour. Okay. This is a fun journey. We're going on a journey together, chat. Oh boy, I spilled. Five and a half. All right. Okay. There we go. Um, sorry, I'm reading this a little slow. Now two and a third cups of sugar. I'm being slow today. My eyes aren't really working. Sometimes when I don't drink enough water the next day, I like can't see. So I'm trying to. I need more sugar. Where'd my sugar at? Did I add a sugar? Imagine I'm out of sugar. 
and our whole day is ruined. No way. No way I'm out of sugar after Master Baker. Are you serious? I thought I was loaded on all ingredients. No way. Oh, yeah, no way. Here it is. <laughs> I was like, that's crazy. Okay. We good. It's not a lot of sugar. my half cup I found that four cup where the heck is the third found it and a third Jesus Jesus four and a half teaspoons baking powder this is a big recipe Can you do like Fortnite? Yeah. It's, it's still even a big recipe for um, three layers. It's just a, this is more flour than I'm used to. It's big. Now, salt, and it has baking soda. Jeez Louise, you could have simplified this a little bit, I feel like. Maybe I'm the crazy one, but. Okay. Can you fly me out? No. Any special plans for Valentine's Day? I'm gonna buy myself a heart-shaped pizza and eat it alone. Tasting baking soda. You and Ray not hanging out? No. I bought Valentine's Day chocolates on sale today to eat alone. That's hype. I should do that. All right. And that's all of our dry. So weird. All right, now she says mix this. I 
All right. And then Sorry, my brain is literally not working today. We just add the butter. I meant to lock it on this side. I meant to lock it. I didn't mean to, t I didn't mean to start. I meant to lock it. I'm gonna cry. I'm not in the mood. Gosh dang it. Oh, there goes some of the flour. <laughs> yeah, my brain's not working today. We're having a not working brain day. God damn it. Seven, take me to six months. Um, all right, well. We're just gonna do normal milk. We're not gonna do buttermilk. It's gonna be fine. Do part of this if it's good. A cup of this and then half of this. It's gonna be fine. Squeeze a lemon. No. No. The lack of sleep, I think it's been multiple days of lack of sleep. Um, this is my problem. I think it's not good for the mental to not sleep, turns out. How much oil? A third cup of vegetable oil. I don't really typically like any cake recipes that add vegetable oil. I try to avoid them. So I don't really like that this calls for vegetable oil. Just throwing that out there. I don't trust a cake with vegetable oil in it. the third cup, right? What kind of oil do you usually use? I usually don't use oil in my cakes. Less than three. It says Well, the mixture is completely smooth. All right, now I'm going to do something. I've made such a mess, I don't know, and I'm not happy about it. But I'm gonna grab the big piles of flour and throw them in, because I just cleaned my counter before this, and so I feel fine doing that. She's smarter than you, Claire? Um, I think people just bake differently. I don't think it has to do with smartness. It does with preference. I 
I have a feeling the reason there's vegetable oil in this is to make it taste like a box cake mix, which would make sense. Drizzy, thank you for the 43. Beto juice, thank you for the two months. All right, that looks good mixture wise. Baking is a science, so is cutie a scientist. Actually, chat, I worked at a Boy Scout camp and the theme was science. And so technically I was a doctor. <laughs> Cause everyone had like your scout names and I'd go by Dr. Pepper. So I was a scientist years ago. Literally years ago. Please chat, it's Dr. Pepper to you guys. Cause my nickname was Pepper cause the year before we weren't a science camp, the year before we were like, I think it was like a medieval times camp or something like that. And then the next year we got switched to a science camp but I couldn't change my name. So I went from just being Pepper to being Dr. Pepper. Honestly, should I change my name on Twitch to Pepper? Kind of cute. I miss it. Pepper's such a better name. Why didn't I keep, why didn't I do that? Why didn't I do the name Pepper from the beginning? It's so stupid. Why did I start with cutie motherfucking Cinderella? It's so stupid. Ugh, I'm so mad. <laughs> All right. Travoli, thank you for the seven gifted. I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, this says, in a medium bowl, thoroughly whisk the whole egg, egg whites, vanilla, and almond extract until no streaks remain. With the mixer on medium low, add the egg mixture. Dang it, this calls for egg whites. <laughs> I don't like using egg whites because I keep ending up because I use egg whites in my frosting and then I have all this, these extra yolks, which I'm pretty sure these ones are bad now. Ah, fuck. <laughs> and so we keep having all these extra egg yolks that like go to waste. Oh, I'm gonna empty this one out. If we're not using it today, which we aren't, then it's gonna be gross by literally tomorrow. Freeze the yolks? I don't think you can, can you? Eggs don't freeze well, to my knowledge. We, maybe we can make creme brulee tomorrow. <laughs> Smiley face. She says that every time. I know. Egg whites freeze just fine? Yeah, I don't know about egg yolks. Honestly, I don't know anything anymore. Three eggs. In this economy, they'll freeze just fine. Maybe make a lemon curd. We've made so much lemon curd over the past few weeks. Um, Skywalk, thank you for the 18 months. Just add it to your next egg salad, or carrot salad. Eggs are crazy expensive now. I know. Listen, I know. I'm not happy that I'm a baker, okay? It's just, I didn't choose this life, it chose me. If I would have known when I was 10 that eggs would this be expensive now, I would have never made those first cookies, you know?
Why is there so many eggs? It's more eggs. Only two more. Time to end stream. <laughs> yeah. That's it, I suppose. Time to get out of here. Girl, you nasty? Why? Sniff the egg, Dr. Cutie. Shenanigans, thank you for the 20. Marcus, thank you for the 59. Nathan, thank you for the eight. Holy moly. Well, I was smelling it because I left these on the counter for a really long time the other day and I was making sure they were still good. Eight Which they would smell eight awful if they weren't, so. They're fine. I just forgot to put them away after I ordered them with my groceries. And I really didn't want to throw them away because they're so expensive. <laughs> I think we can all, I think we can all appreciate that. She's an expert. Good one. <sighs> log, log spirit. Thank you for the five gifted. Thank you. Wait, what? Stick the eggs in water if they float. Wait, wait, I forgot that rule actually. If they float, they're bad. If they sink, they're good, right? I actually don't remember. If they float upright. Smile. Okay, let's see. We'll know if I just fucking, we'll know if those were bad. Ready? Moment of truth. Cup of water. Wait, are you sure? They're good? Wait, but it's sunk. Float is bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, uh, chat. Okay. Okay. Um, my brain really isn't working today. I need a tablespoon of vanilla. So much vanilla. Okay, Claire. Costing us house and home with this recipe. Replica, thank you for the nine months. In she goes. In she goes. All right, um, I think I remember that egg thing. I just forgot it. My brain can only hold as much information as it can, and it can't hold that much anymore, if I'm being honest with you guys. All right, where's the almond extract? It's got to be right. That's mint. Why do we have mint? Strawberry. Vanilla. Oh, ooh, ooh. hello. Stop moving. Mint, strawberry, it's gotta be almond somewhere. Maple, maple. Vanilla, 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 vanilla. Almond, there she is. Almond is a cheat, a, a cheat sheet. Adding almond to your, any vanilla baked good, it's a cheat sheet. It makes it taste way better. 
Don't ask me why. Well, I know why. It's because people aren't used to it, and so it just tastes more unique, and you're like, what is that? Why does that taste so good? You hate almond extract, really? I don't know anyone that hates almond extract. Cone, thank you for the prime. I wish I was an alarm allergic to tree nuts. Well, actually most almond extract is artificial, so usually you won't have a allergic reaction. And I know that because my pastry chef friend was allergic to almonds and she'd always be fine with almond extract, but not real almonds. Almond extract tastes like almonds? No. But it's worth checking, obviously. Don't, <laughs> don't quote me on that and then die. That would be really very annoying for me if you died because then I'd have to like talk to my therapist about it and we already have so much to talk about that it'd be just like a lot, you know? So I can make my mom an almond cake without killing her? Well, it depends on the recipe. I thought you were a doctor. I retired. These do not want to combine. That's good enough. All right. Sen, think for the 10. Agent Smith, think for the 3. Alright, I think that's our, I think this is our girl. I'm gonna add her, uh, I'm gonna scrape her sides really quick. And we're gonna do sprinkles. Have you done any vegan bacon? Not on stream, but I did when I was at the bakery. Based on the price of eggs, we might have to do some vegan bacon. It looks like good batter. I'll give Claire that much. Does look like good batter. Are there any recipes that are impossible to be made vegan? Uh, probably not. Not that I know of, which is harder. 
All right, we're adding the sprinkles. I, I wanna do, I have these Valentine sprinkles I thought would be cute since we're gonna make this a Valentine cake. If I know where they are. Okay, how big or how much sprinkles do you do in this? Half a cup. The issue is, is there's like some hearts and stuff too, which I don't want in there. So it's like I gotta, <laughs> I gotta like pick it out. Maybe the hearts are fine. I think the hearts are fine, just not the big pearls. Get out, big pearl. Can we see the sprinkles? Yeah, I'll show you in a second. There's a big pearl. Pizza roll god, think you're the five gifted. the sprinkles. See, they're cute. But we don't want the pearls in the cake because then you'd like chomp down on one of these and it would suck. Good. All right. I'm out of counter space. What happened? What happened? Why? Why do I always do this? When we had the dove. Uh -huh. Good one. Good one. You know what's also crazy that I think about with that Boy Scout camp? So everybody had nicknames, right? Um, and <laughs> it's when Twilight was pretty big. <laughs> when Twilight was pretty big. And if you were in the same family, um, your your names would like, um, be like related. So ex example, my sister worked there and everyone called her Salt. She was Salt and then I was Pepper. She was Salt first. I don't know why she went by Salt. I think because she liked salty things or something. So she was salt and I was pepper. So she became Dr. Salt. I became Dr. Pepper. And uh, there was a, a guy there whose brother, or the oldest brother, his name was Shadow. And then the brother underneath that, they called him Grayish. And then their sister came and worked there. And they were like, what name should she have? 
And I'm pretty sure she went by Twilight, if I recall correctly. I don't remember, I wanna text my sister. Travoli, thank you for the seven gifted. I appreciate that. Yo, Dr. Salt, do you remember? I want to call her. I'm going to text her real quick. And then there was a kid who went by Twitch chat. So you choose your name. You choose your name. He went by Twitch, and this was before Twitch was ever invented. Foxy, thank you for the prime. He went by Twitch, and it was because he had Tourette's. And he named himself Twitch, because he had a Twitch. <laughs> Which is problematic, I think. But I guess it's fine, because he named himself. I'm gonna say, this is random. Um, we'll see if she texts me back. See if Dr. Salt texts me back. Or maybe she was midnight because what are, what are the different twilights by the way? What are the different twilights? There was twilights, new moon, and then what? Eclipse. Okay. She definitely went by twilight which I'm now realizing has nothing to do with shadow or grayish. So I don't know how this bitch decided she could go by Twilight. That's not related at all. I had to go by fucking Pepper. <laughs> the fuck? Um, oh, that'd be so bad if my sister pulled up my stream because I texted her that. She's like, what is, what is Blair doing on stream? And then she pulled it up and I just swore so much. <laughs> sister, if you're in chat right now, that wasn't me. <laughs> it was a Camp Mormon, yeah. This whole thing sounds like hazing. She's not texting me back, she hates me. Dr. Salt doesn't like me anymore. And I wrote the song that everyone taught to learn the planets. I'm pretty sure it went Jupiter and Venus, 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 Jupiter and Venus. I don't know the other planets. <laughs> what are the planets in order? <laughs> you wrote that? Yeah, I did. Pluto? No. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. Wait, Jupiter and Venus aren't even next to each other? Why would I sing it like that? What? Okay. No, it is. They are. Okay. No, they're not. So it would be Mercury and Venus, 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 Mercury and Venus. Guys, I need you to just keep spamming them. Mercury and Venus. Earth? And Mars? This song sucks. Then there's Earth and Mars. No, that's how it went. Mercury and Venus, 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 Mercury and Venus. Then there's Earth and Mars. Jupiter and Saturn, 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 Jupiter and Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. The sun is a star, star, star. The sun is a star and Pluto used to be a planet but now isn't. Pretty good. That's not how it went, but it was close. It was close. <laughs> there was a dance too, but I don't remember it. But yeah, I wrote that song and everyone had to teach their, their kids that song. 
And essentially, you go to stations. So how it would work is at the beginning of your shift, um, my sister worked at the trading post. Um, and so she would always sell snacks and stuff. But me, I was like, no, I'm going to hang out with the boys. And so at the beginning of each day, we would start camp and it'd be awesome. And then um, we'd get everything set up. The Boy Scouts would show up and there'd be different troops and they'd get assigned a camp counselor. Um, and they would always be really sad when they got me. <laughs> Cause they're like, oh, we got the girl camp counselor. And I'm like, at least you didn't get Twilight. She's weird. <laughs> and then, and then we'd go to the first stop Yo. where it just depended on your cycle that day. Everyone like would start and then you'd go in counterclockwise. So we would do like archery. And then like, uh, we made oobleck, which was that, um, that stuff you make with cornstarch. And then we'd learn the planets. And then we would race for some reason. There was a race one. Dude, I don't remember. And one of the kids was dumb and he went by brick. <laughs> I don't remember all the things we did, but it sounds like we didn't teach enough science there for the science camp, I'll be honest. I don't remember. All right. In goes the sprinkles. <laughs> uh oh, it's dying the stuff. Okay. I just got to put it in pans. I want to taste this. W. Jimmy, thank you for two months. Hmm, that's interesting. Hmm. I mostly just taste the almond extract. I'm sure this cake is great. All right, making a heart cake because my other heart cake dried out. My sister is not texting me back when she hates me. Chat, how does it feel when your sister hates you? Because that's how I feel right now. She doesn't love me. She doesn't love me. Best way to keep a cake moist? Cry on it. She could be busy. I mean, she does have five kids. <laughs> So I guess, I guess there's that. I guess I'm not the priority or something. Yeah, my sister's still Mormon, chat. She is 30 with five kids. <laughs> I have zero. <laughs> You're the cool aunt? I don't think I am. I think I'm the... Oh, she's our aunt? Aunt. Thirty with five kids. Yeah, chat. What does that mean? I'm at the store, may not work. does not want to talk to me. Okay, she hates me. <laughs> On the phone? Yeah. <laughs> How 
How does she think I'm going to call her? I'm hurting her little head. She said, okay. <laughs> I think she meant okay. I don't even remember what I was gonna ask her. Okay, I'm calling her. Hello? Hello. Hi. Um, I was talking to my chat about the camp we used to work at. You remember that? Yes, I do. Question. <laughs> Do you, do you remember Shadow, Shadow's brother, <laughs> Shadow's brother went by grayish, right? Correct. And then the Shadow's sister went by what? Oh, wow. And why do I think it's Twilight? And why does, why does Twilight make any sense in any of this? Shoot. I think you're on the right track. <laughs> Isn't that weird? That doesn't make sense. It doesn't make any sense, but I remember us gaslighting ourselves as kids because I know she loved Twilight. <laughs> and that we were like, oh yeah, because like when there's Twilight outside, it's kind of like grayish and there's shadows. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> I can't think of any other name. Isn't that Shoot. weird? I think she went by Twilight, which means she went by Dr. Twilight, isn't, is that right? Well, I was Dr. Somersault, so... <laughs> well, I know, cause, but I'm just saying, like, doc, Dr. Twilight. She wasn't Dawn, was she? Breaking Dawn or something like that? No, she was definitely Twilight. Well, what were you? I was Pepper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> kind of rude, you <laughs> forgot. <laughs> I was Dr. Pepper. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> well, Dr. Pepper reporting for duty. <laughs> also, do you remember my planet song by chance? Planet song? Oh my gosh. Listen, I'm so old now. I'm... Um, I mean, do you have a tune? I can. Make I'm one pretty up sure it was I'm a Little Teapot. I thought it went. Mercury and Venus, 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 Mercury and Venus, then there's Earth and Mars. Jupiter and Neptune, 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 Jupiter hey, and Neptune. <laughs> it sounds like a good song. But there was something about Pluto being a dwarf planet and that the Earth is just a star. Pluto is a dwarf. I don't know. <laughs> That's not That's right. That doesn't sound right. Um <laughs> Also, another question. Wow, so many questions. <laughs> well, I don't remember any of this, and we were talking about it, and people were asking me questions, but I don't remember anything, because I guess I'm also old. Yeah, you are. Um, okay. okay, so you'd show up in the morning, you'd get assigned to the kids, and the kids would always be mad if they got assigned to a girl counselor. And Correct. then, yeah. <laughs> and then, and then there was archery, there was oobleck, there was the planet song, clearly, where you'd go in the shed and we had like the glow in the dark stars on the ceiling and I would teach them the planet song and about the, the constellations. And then there was the like jungle gym where we did a race of some sort. I don't know what that had to do with science at all. Was, well, you know, it's like physical fitness. They need to be able to be fit. Well, <laughs> I don't think that has anything to do with science. Well, neither does archery. True. Maybe yeah, actually, it's physics, I guess. <laughs> well, the physics of climbing up and down a ladder. Mm. Does there is was there anything else that they did? Was that it? So the point of all the stations were, were so that they could pass off like a, a yeah, like a like their badge. badge yeah. Right? So so then we had like knife safety where we carved so what. Like, 
You don't remember that? I don't remember knife safety at all. I carved oh, soap? Yeah. That's fun. Honestly, I want to yeah. go back. They carved soap. They could carve whatever they wanted out of it. And their hands always smelled really good. And then, like, one station was the trading post where they could come That's and where you something. worked. That's where I was because, you know, where else do you put a girl? A woman. Um, <laughs> um, so I don't know tons of the stations because I was always in the trading post. Um, Dude, I don't remember. Also, you know what's bad that I was thinking of that I told my chat? I remember how Twitch went by Twitch because he had a Twitch. <laughs> That's... <laughs> That is bullying, yeah. I think. Well, you know, back in the day, <laughs> was bullying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that's it. Yeah. I guess that's it. That's all there is. Is there anything else you remember that feels important? I don't remember knife. I don't remember soap Lunch. carving. Lunch. Lunch was important. <laughs> I feel like it should have been. I had a super, I had a Superman lunchbox that, oh, you know what's crazy? Chat, one time, one time we decided oh, to. you're just not going to talk to me now? No, I'm you telling you chat. and chat. Oh. oh, okay. Remember that time that we lied, which is not something you would do, um, no. but we no. did. We lied and um, we lied to the camp counselor, like the camp director and somebody had a key to the camp and we were all going there to sleep there and have a big sleepover. Do you remember that? Yeah. Did we actually sleep? No, we got caught and sent home. We did? If I remember. I don't remember sleeping there, so I guess that sounds right. Because the girls were going to sleep in the trading post and then the boys were sleeping... In the amphitheater. In the amphitheater, yeah. Or the archery range or but something. But we got caught by that that guy with the beard that would wander around sometimes. Oh. And we got in like so much trouble, but you don't remember that? I don't remember getting in trouble, but I don't remember sleeping there, so... Hmm. It's fine. Weird. All right, well that's all. Those are the only memories I have, I guess. Isn't that sad? We spent so many summers there and I only remember like four things. Yeah, the skits. You gotta remember the Well, skits. the skits I think are problematic. <laughs> yeah, because the one skit, you would practically act like you had a mental disability, and that feels probably... Well, it wasn't Back to be... then, it wasn't supposed to be... I don't think it was supposed to be a disability. I think it was supposed to be humorous for eight-year-olds. Yeah. So you were supposed to be... You were just supposed to act really, movie. really, really dumb. But the issue with, like, I feel like 13-year-olds being actors acting dumb was that it came off very, like... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yes. But don't you think Lady would have said something? No, this was, I think, I think this was so many years ago that that humor was fine. But I think if we were to find a video and I were to play it for my chat, it'd be very offensive. <laughs> mm, that's funny. That is funny. All right. That's all. That's all. All right. Okay. Well, Goodbye. Thanks. Love you. Love make you good too. Choices. I'll okay. make good choices. Goodbye Bye. now. <sighs> anyway, that girl gaslit us by going by Twilight. <laughs> she shouldn't have gone by Twilight at all. She just decided that had something to do with her brother's names. I had to go by frickin' Pepper. <laughs> it's messed up. <laughs> Um, huh, there was, so that problematic skit I was talking about, it was called, um, I can't, I, I, I'll see if I can find it. I don't really remember it. I'll see if I can find a, a script for it. This is a very popular Boy Scout camp skit. <laughs> it was about this guy that's like in charge of selling sticks. Um, but instead of like being dumb, he would just be like, almost like, like, you know, the early 2000s, um, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It was the 2000s. It was the 2000s. You watch any t show from the 2000s and they're dropping the R word like 
it's a soda popping stream. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy. <laughs> you get it. <laughs> I remember doing a skit in middle school where we acted Asian. Yeah, there's this skit actually of Taylor Swift in junior high where they're like, uh, they had to do like a marketing thing or something. And she's like um, a cantina girl and she's speaking in a Jamaican accent. And it's like, yeah, you can't hold that against her. This was freaking 2003, you know, like. We've grown, but I definitely think if I found that video, if there was a video out there anywhere of me doing that <laughs> skit, it'd be pretty, it's pretty brutal. This powder is actually really good. A Jamaican accent is expensive now. When done by a white person, I think so. This is really good powder. Oh, I can think of the two cups of eggs in it. <laughs> well, it tastes good, so. Yeah, it's funny that my sister agreed that that name made no sense. Cake batter is so much better than cake. No one can convince me otherwise. Man, you know what? I might have to give this one to Claire. We'll see how it bakes, but the batter is really good. Yeah, I was watching, um, I've been watching, um, I, I've talked about this on stream before, but I went down a weird rabbit hole of um, Playboy Bunny stuff, no pun intended. I just find it fascinating. And um, uh, and so I read I read a few books about the Playboy Mansion, and um, then I started watching, or and then I read Holly Madison's book, who was like one of Hef's longest girlfriends and most public girlfriends. I read her two books actually. And then I started watching um, um, Girls Next Door, which was that um, sitcom that was filmed at the Playboy Mansion. And uh, I can't stop eating the batter. The batter's so good. I never do this. Um, And they say the R word, like nobody's business. Like they're doing a naked photo shoot. They're doing a naked photo shoot. Like literally all the girls are naked. And Holly's like, I look so R, R word. And you're like, that's a crazy thing to say when posing like sexily and naked. But that was what, 2006 or something? Yeah, Holly and Bridget have a podcast now, which is kind of cool. Okay. This is the last scoop of batter I can have. <laughs> it's so good. The batter is actually so good. I might have to give Claire credit here. I mean... Claire, I will say the best thing I've ever baked that was Claire's were those lime bars, those mint lime bars that I made. Those were really good. Except for I did change the recipe a little bit, but this one, oh, I did change the recipe a little bit on this one too. <laughs> I was going to say this one, I didn't, I didn't change the recipe at all, but I did. I did whipped cream instead of um, buttermilk and, you know, it's hard for me not to change the recipe a little bit. I 
I don't remember what I changed to the lime bars. I think I just added extra lime. I usually do that. Um, Super Bowl stream tomorrow. Uh, I have a baking stream in the morning that's sponsored by Dungeons and Dragons, which is kind of cool. And they're letting us bake. Uh, we're gonna make some oatmeal cookies from their, their recipe book, as well as I think some cream puffs. They have like honey cream puffs. We're gonna use their recipe, so it should be cool. Yeah, kind of cool. I've had more uh, more sponsors lately, like be okay with me baking, and it's pretty hype. So, love that. Amazing. Okay, one second. Pernilla is on her way, chat. Um, and she wants me to order the food we had last time, so I'm just gonna reorder that real quick. Got it. Orders. QTC jammies, QTC jammies, QTC jammies. Leslie Sun, thank you for the nine months. Yeah, Pernell has a video out, I think. Miss William, thank you for the 100 biddies. I ate too much batter. I guess I've earned it by eating my carrot salad and my carrot salad only today. <laughs> and my, I had meat too, but that was a lot of, that was actually was a, a lot of calories, my meat. Reorder. I got gyoza last time, but I'm not gonna get that. I'm just gonna get my roll that I got. I want miso soup. It's weird because I know they have miso soup, but it's like not on their thing. It's not on their website. Does that ever happen to you guys? Stony, thank you for the five gifted. How many viewers do I have? Sorry, I, I'm feeling self-conscious because this has been a boring stream. Oh, 4K, guys. What? <laughs> Oh no, shoot. I haven't done anything. <laughs> this has been such a bad stream, all I've done is complain. Oh no. Serbo Cake, save you the prime. What was that, Cass? Mayflower, thank you for the sub. Oh, Hassan's going offline. I see, I see. We love the storytelling. Um, well, that's nice of you. Chat, I can't, whatever, I don't need miso, it's just salt. I'm good with my, um, I'm not paying for priority for five minutes faster. It's like, come on, come on, we're fine. Are we allowed to be on the countertop like this? Wait, what? Have you tried making pizza? Yeah. What kind of cake designer she's going for? I'm gonna do, um, what I think I'm gonna try to do is cut all of those in half, all of my tiers in half, and then have make two um, heart cakes, two separate ones, if that makes sense. And I just wanna make some pretty heart cakes. This one I'll decorate tonight. Um, or maybe I'll decorate it tomorrow, but I'll get it soaking in some coffee tonight to make it more moist. You're amazing. Thank you. Thank you for the six months. Got rejected by a girl. Ooh, I'm sorry. You make artisanal bread too? Um, yeah, I haven't made any on stream in a really long time, but I know how to. Um, okay, chat, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to um, let Swift out really quick and um, uh, talk to my security people. And then, um, but Swift needs to go potty. I'm gonna do that really, really quick. And then I'm gonna be back. We're gonna wipe this off. We're gonna get some coffee for those cakes. Um, we're gonna get some royal icing made and we're gonna decorate some cookies. And then we'll pull that cake out of the oven. And um, does that sound good? 
So we're gonna decorate some cookies, it'll be fun. But I have to clean up first because we don't have much counter space. I don't know how I take up so much counter space. Um, and I think, I wanna use the cookies as decoration on the cake. So I don't know if we'll decorate the cake tonight, but maybe I'll make the frosting tonight. We'll see kind of what mood we're in. Okay, all right. I'm gonna mute my mic really quick and take Swift out, okay? All right, I'm back, boys. Okay, um, so I'm gonna put these eggs away for now. I'm just gonna put everything away for now. We don't need any of it, right? Unless we make frosting, which we can just pull it back out. Should I cop the Geneva sweater from Playboy? Dude, I don't know, Playboy's problematic. Playboy is interesting because Playboy has this brand of like, you know, sex and fucking swag and whatever. Um, but the reality of it is a lot of the women were severely underpaid and exploited and then just dumped. Um, also, there's this really creepy thing that Playboy did I don't know how they got away with this, but they um, at one point did a mini me um, magazine where they had like a bunch of like 12 year olds just naked in it. <laughs> 
Yeah. So Playboy fell off, but it's interesting because it's like, it's such a, um, what's it called when something has like history? Like it's such an infamous brand. There we go. Cause it's negative history. Is that the one with Brooke Shields? Yeah. Yeah, Bernie. And Brooke Shields actually tried to sue to get them to like remove the photos because she's like an adult now. And she's like, this was not my choice. Like what the heck? And they were like, no, we own them or something. I, I forget exactly what happened. I have to do more research on it, but she's trying to sue again as she should because it's child porn. But they're like, no, it's art. If you see this sexually, you're the problem. And it's like, yeah, but it's in Playboy. Like, <laughs> but yeah, her mom sold her rights when she was little. And so it's like a whole thing. It's like really fucked up. Yeah. Hugh Hefner was very feared. He was very controlling. Plus a lot of women would do whatever he wanted because he would promise them, hey, you'd get in the magazine. But that's just one part of it. Another really gross part of it is people that were friends of Hugh Hefner's that obviously had no say in the magazines would take hot girls to dinner, like four, five, six hot girls to dinner and be like, oh, if you suck me off, I'll, I'll make sure to get your name to Hef. And then they would suck him off and then he would literally never get their name to Hef. It was just a way to use them. Ani sold thing for the prime. It's like, it's like, if like I like, like got like a 10K or 10, a 10 viewer Andy and was like, hey, if you come over and scrub my floors every day, I'll get you on an XQC stream, right? They have no way of like knowing that I'll do that for them or not. Um, but that's what people, that's what, Hugh Hefner's friends would do in order to get laid. Isn't that crazy? And then the girls had no clue because they were like new to Hollywood stars in their eyes. They had no clue that like how it worked, you know, plus Hugh Hefner. Um, plus Hugh Hefner would, uh, um, Constantly, they would have hired work, like they would have these things called the Painted Ladies, for example. So they had this Midsummer Night Party every every year in um, at the mansion, and they'd have these people called the Painted Ladies. And they'd be like women that they would hire to be painted in lingerie, so they'd be com completely naked besides they'd be in lingerie. And um, that's actually where he met Kendra, one of his girlfriends, is like, they had painted ladies at every party and clearly there was a level of like, you know, taking advantage of if you're like going over and flirting with the work and Hef would always check on the painted ladies as they were getting ready to make sure they were up to his standard. And it's like, oh, it's just, it's very interesting. Uh, TLDR, don't support Playboy, even if it's just a sweatshirt. Eh, no, that's actually not my TLDR because part of what made Playboy so bad was Hugh Hefner himself. So the brand admittedly is different now. However, it's very nuanced, right? Don't forget about Dorothy Stratton. Dor Dorothy Stratton, was, was she the one that got murdered? Yeah, Dorothy Stratton was killed by her jealous husband. Um, he, what happened? Um, so she essentially um, was with her husband and then Hugh Hefner kept inviting her over, blah, blah. And um, uh, And she became a big model for Playboy and she was gonna leave the husband. She was trying to get a divorce. Finally, he agrees 
to divorce uh, divorce her. And he's like, okay, come to come to our apartment. I have the d divorce paper, papers, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then uh, she goes to the house to sign the divorce papers, but instead he shoots her and kills her and then kills himself. Because he was just jealous and crazy. So I don't know if that's necessarily Playboy's fault. Um, I think their biggest failure was like uh, the next day, instead of talking about it, they like hurry and got an, a, a, a girl that people hadn't seen naked, like naked really, really quickly. Because then everyone just talked about that instead of, um, instead of like, there was no, there was no even PR statement about Dorothy Stratton, I believe. I believe. I, I, I've, what's crazy is I read so many books about this like a few months ago and I've already forgotten some of it, which is like, why is my brain like this? I used to remember everything. I hate getting old. Coots. Who's just made a noise in the other room. I was making sure she was okay. I just hate learning about stuff and like feeling so like educated on it and then forgetting and you're like freak. I used to know so much about this and it was literally just a few months ago. I think it is weird to the, to, um, I don't know. Did not spray on the cakes, I almost did. Munka. Twitch brain rot, probably true. What scent is that spray? Um, lemon verbenia. Yeah, I don't, I think most major brands have ethical skeletons. Like I think, I think, um, I think that's the weird thing about like high roading and virtue signaling in 2023 is it's like, it's what we said yesterday. There's no ethical consumption under capitalism. Like there's just, it just isn't, it's just not possible. Um, so yeah, wait, what did Marsh just say? How crazy would it be if we filmed a podcast tomorrow as a prank? Did that get confirmed? Will never replied. So I never asked Emma. Also, I have a sponsor at 10 a.m. <laughs> I have not taken any rain over that podcast for obvious reasons, but man, they stress me out. It was a dumb idea anyway, sorry. No, 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 it's fine. It's fine, it's a good idea. I just don't know, I just, I just don't know. I don't remember, I, I genuinely don't know. Did it ever, did, was there ever any confirmation or no? I don't take the leadership on it because it's like not mine yet. 
So I'm just like, I just sit back seat, you know? Yeah, okay, relax, chat. I gotta wait for after stream rewards and I will be able to think about it a little more, okay? I just let me get through this month and hopefully my life will change a little bit and Son said he was filming an episode, a podcast episode tomorrow and he was ending stream today. Oh my God. Well, what time? Can we do a night one like after the Super Bowl? March, will you see if we can do a night one after the Super Bowl? <laughs> would Hassan hate doing that? Cause I would like to do that. I'd love to do a night one after the Super Bowl. Plus I think that's the only way to get. I don't know where my phone is. Wait, that's actually an issue. Oh shit. Oh, this is the first time I've successfully lost my phone. During a, um, well, Ludwig's been gone. Okay, Swift went potty, I was on the phone. He's not streaming Sunday? Okay, then we should be able to do one. Actually, I have a great idea. Oh, I found my phone. Oh, I just saw it. Can we do a night? What time's the Super Bowl over? Sure. Oh, Hassan said yes. Okay. Your house. 7.30. All right, that was easy. It's a mansion, not a house. Okay, your mansion tomorrow, 7.30. I have a long day tomorrow. Sponsored at 10 a.m. chat. Do you think that's gonna be possible? <laughs> be honest. My sponsor's at 10 a.m. tomorrow? No shot, you wake up, okay. Okay, I'm happy we're all on the same page. All right, thank you for believing in me, I appreciate it. Chat, I'm gonna go to bed tonight at 2 a.m. It's gonna be awesome. Should do 5 a.m. sponsors. Okay. It's Dunkin' Donuts or Dungeons and Dragons. It's Dungeons and Dragons. We're gonna make cool stuff. And talk about Dungeons and Dragons. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this cat and I'm going to eat him up. Mm. Hi. Can I kiss? Mm. Oh, can I kiss? Oh, okay. Oh, can I kiss? Chewbacca thing of the year. Mwah. I love it. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love it. Oh my goodness. Oh, don't bite my nose, please. 
We're having a cute thing. I don't want to move Durs, but I'm supposed to like work now. <laughs> you want to back scratch? You you back scratchy? Oh, the nice. Oh, he's pissed. Uh, chat. Why would you recommend? Ow! Look what you did. QTC heart. Skeleton. Thank you for the six. Mm, oh, oh my goodness. Mwah, I got you. Mwah. Oh, is this a? Is this a jealous, is this a jealous puppy? Is this a jealous puppy? Hop up, hop up, up, climb, hop, oh, skip, jump, hop, skip, jump. Oh, God, a jealous puppy. Oh, God, a jealous puppy. Oh, God, oh, this is, whoa, 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 whoa. When you want down, you have to go slow. You could have fallen. My goodness, Swiffers! Crazy! Oh my god! Okay, what do you want? You want a treat? Okay, I'm gonna give you a big biscuit. I'm gonna give you a big ass biscuit. Mmm, this is yummy! Goodbye! He left. Thinking about that Discord chatter, he thought Miko was Swift. <laughs> really? All right, I need a, uh, I need to get coffee to put on this chocolate cake. Coffee. I'll leave this stupid mug that Soda left here. God damn it! I try to get rid of all of our ugly mugs, and then Nick and Soda come up with these freaking sponsor mugs. Whoa! Don't get mad at me, coffee machine. I'll get you water. You guys hear it? it went. Mer. Oh, mad at me. Okay, chat, what are some really fancy coffee beans? Cause that's what Ludwig said he wants for Valentine's Day. What is like the fanciest, dopest shit? Does anybody know? Local artisan Vietnamese elephant poo beans. Wait, actually. Okay, you guys are all just saying a lot of stuff. Kopi Luwak, what's that? I feel like I just said a slur. True Sellies, thank you for giving out a gifted sub. Okay, you guys. A few of you have said that Kopi Luwak. What is that? Go to r slash coffee. Oh, that's a good idea. I'll write that down. Kopi is 1300 per pound? Okay, whose idea is that? Why is that? Why are we saying that? Take it back. <laughs> Surely there is something else we could come up with. Correct? <laughs> Blue bottle coffee? What's that? Oh, it's expensive because they abuse animals? Oh my God, okay. That's really great. Black ivory is 2K a pound? Okay, how much do you want a pay per pound? I don't know, not that much. Cake is smelling good. You know what, guys? I might have to give Claire some credit here. 
I might have doubted her. Dude, I think I can save this cake. Freezing cake is so great compared to leaving it in the fridge and letting it dry out. Okay, Jello, that's a little far. Blue Mountain Coffee, okay. Onyx Coffee, Southern Weather. You know who would probably know? Would probably be Parth. I feel like Parth knows everything food related. I'm gonna ask Parth. Onyx Coffee is good, okay. Well. I'll write it down. <sighs> At home roasted by Duncan. Okay. All right, good. Jordan, thank you for the prime. Ask S fan what coffee Finn buys. He buys top of the line beans, not joking. Finn does or S-Fan does? Wait, why wouldn't I just ask S-Fan? <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't I just ask Finn? I'm friends with Finn. Get him a coffee roaster and green beans. Whoa, that's a kind of fun idea. He'll never use it. He will never use it. <laughs> Get him something he'll use. What would he use? Chat, I literally don't know how to. I don't know. I don't know how to get him presents anymore. Duckley Duxon, thank you for the prime. I thought about making a photo book and then I was like, is that lame? Probably. Cause we don't even take photos together. <laughs> Do guys even like photo books? Oh, that's cute. Yeah, but do guys like them or just girls? Because I'm seeing a lot of girl names saying that they're cute. Yeah, I think it's a mix. It looks like a mix. <laughs> they like the effort. Okay, but chat, can I tell you the problem with Ludwig? <laughs> Listen, I love him very much, but one time I spent like three weeks making him a custom golf putt putt because he likes mini golf and custom putters and custom ball and they were thrown away <laughs> so he like doesn't really care about like high effort gifts he's just not that type of guy and i learned that the hard way and like think of like the pokey remember the pokemon things i made for Christmas, I made like those, the poke, like the custom Pokemon like ornaments and the Starmie. Remember how long it took me to make that Starmie? Yeah, there's a gone. He didn't, they're gone. <laughs> he just doesn't, he doesn't, he's not like a very material guy and he doesn't really care about like, thoughtfulness. He just is just, he's like too easygoing. He doesn't care about anything, but I need to get him something because it's like, like, you know, it's Valentine's day, but I feel, I do feel, didn't he like the oppa sweater you knitted? Yeah, but that's also gone. Yay, stuffy. Well, we don't need a coffee grinder because our coffee machine does it for us. So like, what does he keep? He just loses stuff and like just doesn't, he's not like a stuff guy, so he doesn't care about keeping track of stuff. You know? Our coffee machine grinds the beans. Coffee bean subscription, an interesting idea. Get him roses. 
Well, that's the other thing is he loves Japan. So last year I like sourced Japanese sweet peas from a florist in Japan and got them to send it to me. He didn't care. Like he's thankful for the record. He's like, oh, thanks so much. But it's like, it would have been the same if I would have just gotten freaking carnations from the grocery store. So I gotta like, you know, I gotta like think. Yeah, now I can't do like Japan things because he's in Japan and so it's like. So he doesn't like gifts. He, he just doesn't like anything. I don't know, he's impossible. He says the best gifts are stuff he'll use, but then like. Japanese car. <laughs> he already has one of those. Do experiences instead of gifts, but like what? Or he already has a Japanese snack box. I already got him that. All right, these cakes are gonna soak up this moisture. Does he like pour over coffee? He doesn't make pour over coffee since we have our coffee machine that does it for us. Bonsai tree, it'll he'll just, it'll just die. All of his plants are dead. New phone charger. Yeah, he has money, so it makes it hard. Couples massages, he doesn't like massages. Cantana is a cool idea. What's that? Is that like, I could get him like a cool sword. He's talked about like swords. I don't know. He's just like, he's impossible chat. I don't know what to do. And I'm just like, Christmas was hard too. I just got him clothes because I didn't know what to get him. Travoli, thank you for the seven gifted. You must love the level seven. A Lego bonsai would be nice. I got him the Vespa Lego set for Christmas and he doesn't like, he doesn't like Legos. So I pretty much got it for myself. Just ask him. He asked for coffee beans and chocolate and that's all he asked for. And it's just like, ugh, oh. A cool Chessa, I already got him one. I've already done that. Steal something he has and give it back to him. I even thought of like home making bonbons, like making my own chocolates because he was like, you know, cause he wants chocolates. And so I was like, oh, what if I was like extra thoughtful and made homemade chocolates? But then I was like, he wouldn't care. He doesn't care. I'll just buy them. He does not care if they're homemade. It's some real shit I have to put in my PayPal each time I want to don't know. Just ask him and say, bro, Mr. Wig WTF do you want? I did. I told you what it was. What about an overkill game controller? He has tons. He doesn't care, just give him chocolate and be done. It just feels bad. It feels bad, man. What if you got him a super cool custom design helmet for his Vespa? Well, I thought about painting on his Vespa myself or on his helmet. Like, let me show you his helmet chat. So I thought about buying paints and painting something custom on it. Um, but I don't know. Um, number one, I'm not that creative, so I don't know what I'd paint on it. Number two, I don't know what kind of paint you would use. And number three, what if he hates it and then I ruined his helmet? It's just this, but what, do I, what would I paint on it? Yeah, mogul moves, like, that's lame. Painted Nami, flowers, the yard logo. I don't know. I'm just like so over it. I think the chocolate is a good move. Thanks, DS Mac. Ugh, so what's like good chocolate? Like what's fancy chocolate? Mr. Beast Bars. NZ Whitaker's is the best. What is that? Oh my gosh. Genuinely chat. I'm sorry. I'm not going to know any of this. If you have good chocolate recommendations, will you put them in discord under suggestions? I actually will list, like I will look at them. I'm not kidding. I'm not just telling you to do that, to ignore you. This is 
it's not done. Claire, I don't know. It feels like it's gonna bake dry. Chat, I'm back to not trusting Claire. <laughs> Doesn't care, just go. No, he has good taste. Like, he'll know what chocolate tastes good. I just think, like. I didn't hear any of that. You should honestly just put it in chat, my friend. <laughs> um. Um. It's called suggestions in Discord, yeah. Book a cinnamon room and invite people and surprise them. That feels like a birthday thing, not a Valentine's Day thing. Kate Weiser chocolate. Whatever, chat, I give up. Oh, this, this cake is saved, dude. This cake is actually saved. This cake will be fine. Wicked. All right, um, well, let's decorate some cookies, huh? Why not? Pernilla's almost here. Sam and Kayla, thank you for the two months. It's a fast way to cool down a cake without destroying it. The freezer. Hi, Steve. Hi, Doris. Hi, I love you. Is there anything that's French he would like? No, he doesn't really like France. He just... Half the stuff he like says he likes on stream and stuff, he doesn't even like. Like, he doesn't even like Nami. Like, I couldn't get him an, a Nami figurine. Like, that's just a meme. And it's like annoying, so it's like, at least if you like the NAMI, I would have something to buy you. Take us to a concert. Oh yeah, there's that eSports concert he wanted to go to. My tummy just looked big. Do you guys notice it now? <laughs> Maybe I'll buy that. There's the eSports Awards is doing the Masayoshi Takanaka vinyl record. I thought about that. Um, but he doesn't like listen to he never uses the record player. Eh, maybe I'll get it anyway. I'll just, yeah, I'll give him best just chatting streamer of the year. That's what I'll do. Good idea. Good idea, chat. Huge. Make a custom vinyl of your Christmas album. Um, someone already, a viewer did that and sent it to us. Oh, there's Pernilla. Okay. I just buy royal icing mix because I didn't feel like making my own. Lately I've been kind of lazy with baking. I don't know if you guys have noticed. Maybe you haven't. Dersey, you're yelling at me. What the heck? Why do you think you're yelling at me? I've already fed you today though. How is it locked? Sorry, I locked you out. <laughs> I have a hot mic on, just warning you. Swiffy, Swift, 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 buddy. Hey, stop. I know. Just lets out another one. I like how you just lets out another one. I'm still streaming. Do you want to decorate cookies or no? Yeah. I can end if you don't want to. I've been trying to decorate cookies all day. We haven't gotten to it. <laughs> so mad up here. It's so mad. Swiffy, come here. 
Babe. Swift. Swift. He comes over so meek too. Do you see him? He like crouches. He's like, oh, you're my friend. <laughs> yeah, you were a little bit of an asshole. Oh, Swift. Oh, yeah. Aww, now we're friends. See that? That was quick. <sighs> yeah, I was just talking to my chat about what to get Ludwig for Valentine's Day. Oh. Impossible challenge. Impossible challenge. <laughs> yeah. He's the worst. What have you in the past? Oh, just everything you could ever think of that would ever be a good gift for him. I've used up all my ideas ever. I feel like you're good at making gifts. Well, that's the issue is he doesn't care about like handmade gifts, you know? Yeah, but, um, I've done it a thousand times and he does butter? not care. He lost it. No. Yeah. <laughs> you can't just say no. <laughs> he did. I haven't seen it in forever. Oh, she's brought wine. Brought wine, I have anxiety. Why? I don't know, I think driving does it. Oh, really? A terrible place to have anxiety is a car. Yeah, I had that one time recently when Lud and I were going to the Billie Eilish concert, I had to pull over. And Lud was like, do you want me to drive? And I was like, no, because I think I'll still be anxious. <laughs> and I'd rather be in control. Yeah, because then you distract yourself a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Flipping really fast between the two, so. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. Oh, hello. The, uh, Wine opener is? Yeah. Did you use it last time? Yeah. Or was it twist off? You used it? Um, hmm. Are these the Concerning. Oh, here it is. Yeah, I just bought cookies because I just wanted to decorate them because this cake I'm decorating tomorrow, I want conversation heart cookies on it, so I figured we'd decorate some. Conversation heart. Oh, I was like, what's a conversation heart button? Yeah, those little. Remember. She remembers. Remember. She didn't celebrate Valentine's Day growing up. No. No love. <laughs> no. No, love in our no heart. one loved me. <laughs> <laughs> and then I wanted to make one of those cute aesthetic heart cakes, so. But that's probably a tomorrow. A tomorrow project or a Monday project, I don't know. Actually, Monday, I have meetings all day, chat. Monday's your form. Monday is my meetings day. It's office day. Oh, yeah. Lovely music. Thank you, that's our baking music. Yeah. It's light, is that okay? Yeah. Oh, the glasses are up here. Oh, okay. I'm an asshole, yeah. Oh, when you come up, will you bring the necklaces we made? I think she heard me. You want my cat? Weird. Pernilla helped me with some of the charity necklaces. So I wanted to show you guys. I think my favorite one I did recently was chicken phalanges. Your necklace made me extra happy because I put a chicken on it. <laughs> How long did you do the cake business? Um, it's a great question. I did wedding cakes for about five years. I was a pastry chef for about two, but they were combined at one point. Okay, this seems like the right texture. 
Okay, so I'm gonna do like the light purple to start with. Hungarian Hot Pockets, thank you for the sub. What are you, are you laughing at Swift? <laughs> Why are you laughing at him? He's doing his best. Uh, doesn't matter. Those are ones that Terry made us and all the paint came off. Oh. Yeah, it's sad. They're so big. I know. <laughs> Donator, you've got to stop donating. I literally can't hear what you're saying. I keep telling you to just type in chat. You're wasting your money. I'm so sorry. I can't hear you. The kitchen speaker is awful. What the hell is that? That was a chickpea. Durs. I'm s Hello. Durs really wants. Ice? No, he just wants to trick you into feeding him. He's already been fed today. He's just being a monster. Damn. Yeah, D buddy, I'm so sorry. I haven't been able to hear any of it. Whatever. We're just gonna make some cookies and then watch the hills all night. Or no, Laguna Beach. Laguna Beach. And there's this new movie. What? With Ashton Kutcher. Oh, and Reese. Witherspoon. With a spoon. Specifically with a, a spoon. spoon. Yeah. Yeah. Her spoon. Is that a good conversation heart purple? Um, yeah, Laguna Beach is on Netflix and holy moly, is it bingeable chat? It's pretty insane. <laughs> I think it's we're almost done with season the, one. <laughs> yeah, they're like 15 minutes episodes. So it's great. Pretty easy. The movie wasn't good. Watched it last night very slow. Oh, oh no. no. But it's disappointing. Kutcher's hot, right? Yeah, he's still got it, right? <laughs> what's that? Uh, what's that? Emo. Thank you. Thank you for the two months. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Pernilla is going to start streaming, chat. If you have enough wine, it will be a good movie. If what? You have enough wine, it'll be a good movie, they said? We've watched some pretty bad movies together. Oh my gosh. So. We went through a phase where we were watching... Um, uh, Molly Ringwald movies. Oh yeah, we were watching all the old movies and figuring out if they held up because we had never seen them. They don't. They don't hold up. They're terrifying. And borderline very racist and problematic. Yes, please don't watch them. Laguna Beach also very problematic. I told them about like the R word. I was like, I was watching yeah. like shows from the 2000s and they just dropped the R word. We were like, Casually, yeah. what did she say? Lauren was like, yeah, she's so... ED, Our you know, work. like, yeah, <laughs> and it's, you're like, what? It's, bad. it's so casual. Steven is dating Kristen, and he screams slut at her. Oh at my gosh. Also, Screaming, they're high schoolers at the bar. They're high schoolers at the bar. Their family lets them go to where? Was it they don't have family. Cancun? They don't have parents. Like, where, where were they in Mexico? Their Cabo. family, Cabo, yeah. yeah. Cabo. Somehow these high schoolers are going to Cabo. Like break, I'm still not old enough to go to Cabo. College thing, right? I guess, yeah. They go to they go to Cabo, and all she's doing is dancing with someone, and he's yelling slut at her, screaming. And somehow this guy has two girls wrapped around his finger. He was cute. he's the hottest one for sure. But he is, but happens. yeah. I mean, he's still the hottest yeah. one. <laughs> Sadly, <laughs> sadly he wins. Um, Steven, Steven. and he doesn't, he doesn't hold up, we though. checked up on him. He, uh, he has a podcast now, of course. About like Laguna Beach. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah. You need oh, to call. Wait. Podcast. Christine Cavallari is on it too. Called back to the beach. Oh, if she's on it, I've lost respect. I don't know if I have, well, the most, Look at the cat. Wow. <laughs> I wish we could show. <laughs> the most respect I have for her is that her skin is gorgeous. She is like so beautiful. 
The hot guy podcaster pipeline is crazy, yeah. Wait, you guys are saying the podcast is awesome? What? Beach, back to the beach? No, uh, don't give him that. We hate him. Even has aged very well. Okay, you guys are on a different page than us. We, we, we didn't agree with that. <laughs> we <laughs> hate <laughs> him. <laughs> Everyone has a podcast. Pretty soon, I'm gonna have one too. Well, Pernilla and I were supposed to have a podcast called Lack of Attention, but we didn't have the attention to put it together. Yeah, that's the story. But, <laughs> huge, huge steps. And then I was like, Pernilla should just take over wine about it. And then Pernilla's like, oh, I'm gonna go on an eat, pray, love for a little bit. And I was like, okay, bye. Yeah. <laughs> so, she's Julia Roberts. Back. We'll see. What if you don't? Because death? No, because... You start a new life. Oh, this is the decorating part. I just want to see if this is the right consistency, so then I know. Very steady hand. Yeah, I do. It's pretty neat. That's pretty good. Nice, that's perfect. I'll do like... Probably have enough for like four purples. And then I'll give you a job in a second, I promise. <laughs> Unless you don't want a job, you don't have to have no, one. Job. You don't work. have to have, you can put me to work. Woman. How was your day? What'd you do? I went for a walk that ended up being four miles. Oh my God. To go to a store. I didn't think it was gonna be that far. I recalculated beforehand. I knew where the store was. But, um, yeah. And then, you know, took a shower. Came here. <laughs> That's all you did today? A lot. I did a lot. Yeah. How was yours? Um, I sorted our laundry. Mm. I did the dishes. Uh, that's perfect. about it. Yeah. I worked a little bit on stream reward stuff. How's that going? Oh, it's going. It's going. Um, and then, honestly, put off going live forever. And I showered. How long have you guys been hanging out here? Live? Dude, we've gotten nothing done today. I don't know. I see a lot. Well, I see several cakes. Three hours? Yeah, but that's an old cake that I had to rehydrate. That's a new cake that I'll decorate later. And then these are cookies in order to decorate a cake. Funfetti, but I used Valentine ones. Yeah, but chat's happy because I used a Claire recipe and they get really excited when I use Claire. Yeah. Oh. Oh, you do. Yeah, I was actually really mad today. I was really grumpy because I hadn't eaten. And so then I made one of those stupid carrot salads from TikTok. Have you seen those? No. It's just shaved carrot with <laughs> lemon juice and pepper and salt. No. Yeah, and I was like, I'm on my eating disorder grind. Yes. So I ate that. Yeah. And then I was still hungry, go figure. Yeah. And then I ate a little pack of like meats and cheeses. That's 300 freaking calories. Yeah. Stupid. You like four cashews. Some, you know, I'll have some cashews for a snack. But it's I like, like to have about 800 of them. Yeah, I don't that's, understand. So that's, you know, nuts and cheese and meats. And They're calorically dense foods. And then I was grumpy and still hungry up until I ate some of the cake batter. And now I'm like the newest girl. The cake is the way to go. I am, yeah, the cake batter made me really happy. So that's cool. And then our sushi's on our way. Oh, excellent. That place is good. Mm hmm It is good. Yeah. Okay. This is your job. What you're gonna do is I'm gonna fill it and then you have to make sure all the corners, like it's all filled in, if that makes sense. So I get you this pokey knife thing. Yeah. And I'm gonna go like this. And I go like this. Yeah, and you try to like, not let it go over its wall. But yeah, essentially you just try to spread it. Oh no. <laughs> no, no. Oh no, it's already. Yeah, I haven't really figured out 
flooded cookies. We've worked on it a few times on stream. I've been pretty unsuccessful, TBH, but we're working on it. It's not my, it's not in my not wheelhouse, yeah. I'm a cake girl, not a cookie girl. You can only be one. Yeah, I knew that. And then I'll have, if I have some extra. So worst case, well. I'm really bad at cake and cookies. My cookies turn out like cake. Like texture wise? Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well. And everything comes out overcooked, baked, overbaked. <laughs> I don't know how to help you with that. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to, but I don't know how. But I've just given up. You don't need to. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to have your baked goods. That's fine. Um, people were talking about your new vlog. I didn't see it. What is it about? Um, masks breaking up with me. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. You made a breakup vlog? No, but she's it's about what single, I'm doing next. boys. It is? Yeah. Uh huh. And what so, What are you doing next? I'm going to Paris. <laughs> she's going to Paris. You knew. You knew. I did know. I just didn't know if, if you like. It's a very short vlog. That took me too long to make. <laughs> did you cry? No, but there was, a, there was like a one second clip of me. Tearing, tearing up. up yeah do you think he's watched it oh i hope not god i really hope not breakups are weird not, like, he doesn't watch really youtube like he would only watch he didn't really like me him. so like the matter <laughs> yeah but um i re um downloaded hinge huge he i was trying to find her the love of her that. life and it didn't work last week she was being annoying it was being and annoying. wouldn't let me swipe on it's still there's a mutual no, i don't think the love the love is there she has a mutual that was also on their chat and she was like i'm not swiping on him he has to swipe on me and i was like no just swipe on him pussy no, and she was like no the hearts you get oh god waste my time oh god oh good job <gasps> oh they're just, just bad I'm just, no i'm just gonna fill in that little Damn. Shall I show the work? Yeah, go show them. It's just a perfect flooded little cookie. Flooded cookie. Here, wait. Make sure it's perfect. It's not. Mm, they never are. <laughs> I want to eat it already. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yours looks better than mine. Mine has like a, well, I think that Andrew. outline, I did that yeah. outline better on yeah. yours. Oh, there are more. Yeah, there's more. Woo! Would you say baking takes away your anxiety? Mm-hmm. Because I feel like it adds. Oh, <laughs> baking's the only time my brain is quiet. It's like your one you get in flow, is that what's it called? State of flow, flow state. Flow state. Also known as when you're on your period. <laughs> Heavy flowing, boys. Um, yeah, I get in a flow state and I just cookie, you know? You just cookie. Like, what can you think about right now besides, oh, I just have to fill in these lines? Everything. Really? <laughs> yeah. This is the only time my brain goes quiet. I've tried everything else. I've tried, like, coloring books. I've tried yoga. I've tried... Running, I think running is the only thing that works for you. No, running? Well, the running works because the only thing I'm thinking is like, I'm in pain, I'm in pain. Stop, yeah, stop, that's stop, crazy. Stop, 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 stop. I hate it. <laughs> but it's better than the other thoughts, right? I, I guess. I don't, I don't run actually much. You do. No, and you always say that. Cycling bike. Yeah, so but I, you went on a four mile walk today. That's a lot of. That's a walk. Yeah, but it's a lot of outside time. Oh, yeah, I like outside. Yeah. I want Kristen Cavallari's skin. Um, I think you need to get Juvederm. What's that? A filler and uh, Botox and... I don't want to get a filler. Um, There's got to be a special facial she got. She looks younger than special, me. It's a special facial. Really? Yeah. It's just Botox and filler? Yeah. I feel like there's got to be something else. No. Damn it. Filler wins again. Filler wins again. If you want someone's skin? Yeah, look at her. Guys, look at a picture of her. She looks perfect. Like, she looks better now? 
than she did in high school. In Laguna Beach. Yeah. Okay, I have enough for one more, I think. Someone said she got a lot of rejuvenation. What's that? I think just she, like she got a lot of rejuvenation. Like a lot done? Yeah. <laughs> It's a weird way to say it. I flinched a lot on this one. Oh. I'm thinking about getting rejuvenation. Rejuvenated. What does that even mean? Like a procedure. Yeah, but what Some procedure? What procedure does that to you? Botox. I don't Why think not? it does. Let's just do it. Comparison is the thief of joy. Fucking Ludwig saw that. Someone tweeted that out. And now Ludwig always says that to me. And I'm like, stop, mother. I hate that one. Yeah. Comparison is the thief of joy. No, okay, like well. Inevitable. You know, it's going to happen. Just how you, it's just how you uh, recover. <laughs> <laughs> well, I bet if I was as pretty as her, I would be happier. No. I don't think she's happy. The story she about her brother dying divorce. is crazy. Wait, whose what? brother dying? She did have a public divorce? Did Kristen Cavallari's brother die? That makes me sad because we've watched him. Someone share the story. <laughs> no one actually knows it. It's a lie. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> this coming in from CNN. Yes. <laughs> Great story. It's sad. What? What happened? We need to know. We're watching the show. We need to be sad now every time he's on the screen. He was found. His car was found abandoned in the... Oh, I missed it. Maybe someone's got to post it again. How's that? He died of cold exposure two miles from his car? What? what? are you talking about? Should I look it up? Yeah, because they're only giving it to us in pieces. And we need to know. This is sad. When did this happen? Michael. Okay. Mm hmm He was found dead on December 10th, 2015 at the age of 30. What? Nearly two weeks after he was reported missing. Utah police began searching for Michael on November 27th after his 2014 Honda Civic was discovered abandoned on I-70 in the state. He had a troubled past. Why was he in Utah? Was he converting? Difficult moments in Michael's life leading up to his vanishing. This is a really terrible article written what? by people that's not giving me. It's a timeline of everything, like when he was arrested years prior. For doing what? That the heck is going on? You got arrested for having a shotgun? Yeah, you are bad at skimming. <laughs> oh, is that our food that Swift is barking at? Okay, this this is a bad art article. Yeah, you gotta find a so. different one. All right, there are the purpley cookies. Cute. Yeah, very cute. And then they have to dry, but then tomorrow we can add the, or probably not tomorrow, chat. It'll probably be Monday. We can add the conversations. Or Valentine's Day, I guess. This one's so fucked up. That first one was probably the best one. Okay, purple are done. I'm gonna make, hmm, I'm gonna make pink now Car and then yellow. And following the search, they could not determine his whereabouts. And then they later identified Michael in security footage from a convenience store confirming that he had been driving the vehicle around the same time it was abandoned. That's it. What? 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 This 
spills like so many missing details. So many. So someone actually does need a help. He got in a car wreck in the desert. He was found out in his car, dead. No trauma, alcohol, or drugs. Posted murder. a gang cast. He got murdered? No, I'm starting a rumor. <laughs> oh, okay. She's the daughter of the owner of Dr. Pepper? No. Oh. <laughs> I don't think Is that so. An inside joke? <laughs> no, I don't even know where that's coming from. Body found naked after he had suffered extreme paranoia. Allegedly believing a Mexican gang was after him. What? How come I can't find any of this? Yeah, I feel like I'm you here. guys are making this up. That's about you? Oh, they're saying you are the... Dr. Pepper. Daughter? You're Dr. Pepper. No, okay. What's the joke? Uh, there shouldn't be a joke. That is the conspiracy. There are no notes left. He got in a car wreck in the desert. He found miles, no trauma, alcohol, and drugs. Medical exam examiner ruled it hypothermia. Hypothermia. Where? What was he doing inside of his car? Yeah, I'm so confused about why he was in I the middle of the we, desert. I guess we won't know because he did die. Yeah, I guess we can't, we can't ask him. Well, shit. <laughs> Stay in your cars if it's cold out. <laughs> Good advice. <laughs> Huge. You heard it here first. I'm Sounds like maybe a mental too. breakdown. I feel like mental breakdowns don't cause you to leave your car. Die. I mean, I guess the hypothermia caused him to die. I'm so afraid of mob having a, related. a mental breakdown. Maybe, that guy said maybe it was mob related. <laughs> Why? I, like, I like that theory. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like a, a hard maybe. It is sad. That is really sad. I didn't know that. Is that your mom? Yeah. I'm Huey's mom. I think I look like the mom is a sad thing. Look at the thing. You look I young and happy and I look mom. grumpy. Okay. Hmm. Oh God, don't bring them up. There was a story about this guy. Michael Cavallari? No. Oh, it's already been opened. Um, This guy that I guess he like left a bar and his car broke down and he called his parents and he was on the phone with his parents. His parents were like 15 minutes away. Parents were driving to him. All of a sudden they hear this like loud noise and the guy yells fuck. And then um, they get to his car. No damage to his car, nothing. He's just gone and they're like aliens. And then he like appeared like five years later. Fine. With no memory, yeah. I guess that's best case scenario. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I'd like to be abducted. No, you wouldn't. Listening? Yeah. <laughs> I would. You're, no, you wouldn't. I would. Why? Because then I would know that they're there. <laughs> Did you see that they like shot down a UFO over Alaska yesterday? No. Yeah. Lots what of. What's that? Is that real? Yeah. Google it. And Canada today. Really? Yes. Wow. What is going on? What we know about the UFO shot down over Alaska six hours ago. We know how good I am at reading articles. So, <laughs> so we'll get there. An hour. Yeah. I might have some tidbits. They shot down two more. Wait, what? The Pentagon has been cautious in describing what the object actually is. Why? This is CNN though. So this is real. There was a real object shot down. Yeah, it was everywhere. Okay. People like saw it too. The CNN or the, the government should just tell us, you know, what's the worst case? We're gonna panic and we're gonna run out of toilet paper. <laughs> We've clearly proved that we're okay in handling panic as a humans. As America, we're really good. Get 
I have nothing. I'm getting nothing. Someone else help me. I can't do this. Can I mic her up? They want me to mic you her up. Me? I don't want to be mic'd. They sure don't want to be mic'd. <laughs> you don't want to hear what I have to say. <laughs> I mean, they can hear you. They just can't hear you as well as they, they want to hear you breathing, you know? <laughs> That's all there is. UFO shot down. Yeah, it's all there is. Isn't that crazy? That's all they're saying. It feels like we should have more details. <laughs> but they just don't give them to us. They don't. They, it says that they don't want to. It's on purpose. So, so now what? <laughs> so what are we supposed to do? I didn't, I didn't know you made a video about your breakup. Well, it was more about like what I'm doing after it. It wasn't about the breakup. I know, Those but that's... details are secret. So, no, <laughs> tell us why now. <laughs> Breakups are so weird. They are. Breakups are weird because you go from knowing someone you're like years and years and years and all of a sudden they act like a stranger and stranger it's like... To friends, to lovers, to strangers. So weird. It's a song. Can't take credit for that. Yeah, Taylor Swift said in one of her songs, I used to put your body into mine every goddamn night and now we fake, and now we have fake niceties. And it's like, that's crazy that you used to have fucking sex every single night and now you have to be like, hey, how, how have you been? Not even that. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, I did, I said happy birthday to him. Oh God, how was that? And he was like, thanks for reaching out. I appreciate it. I was like, oh. Ew, thanks for reaching out. Like, I appreciate it. You reaching out. It's like, well, it's been, it's been years. We've been together for years. Per my last email. But I did say, happy B-Day, LOL. <laughs> I don't know if I should, but I did. Oh, my heart that hurts. Happened. It was just, oh, it God. Just, it just happened because it was meant to be. Oh, God. Oh, God. I hate breakups. <laughs> yeah. Gross. Oh God. Gross. So I'm leaving the city. <laughs> leaving the country. So I'm fleeing to Paris. I went to um, uh, Malibu, which is not in the vicinity of where his people are or my people are. And I was getting smoothies after a hike and his, the, the table next to me was just everyone from his high school. <laughs> are you serious? So this is not, I need to get out of here. Ugh. Ugh. I hate breakups. I hate them. <laughs> yeah, but it's kind of fun to be like, yeah, I went through a breakup. No, it's not. <laughs> There's like part of it that's like, you gotta, you gotta enjoy it. It's, yeah, you gotta you know, do, it yeah. a few times in your life, right? Mm. Hopefully. <laughs> Who knows? Okay. How many breakups have you been through? We've talked about this so that I get dumped and she dumps. I am the dumper. I have only been broken up with once and I wasn't even broken up with, I was ghosted, <laughs> which is crazy. But yeah, every other time I've been the breaker upper. Um, and then I have regretted it most of the time. <laughs> I do the breaking up and then I say, wait, LOL. And they say, no. And I say, oh, fuck. I didn't mean it. I was hoping like I'd break up with you and you'd come crawling back and realize how much you needed me. And <laughs> they never do. <laughs> they never do. Actually, they always do. How I lied. Until like after. Every single guy I've ever dated has sent me a message. Um, months if not like a random few years later that they're like you're my biggest mistake that's what I hear. i'm like oh i hear it happens like months down the line one of them was like five years later i randomly got a message from a guy and he was like i don't regret many things in life but i regret leaving you and i was like damn that hurts i said la mao <laughs> said you were awful to me gross yeah um but he's fine now. <laughs> he's single and alone, so. At least the last time Same. I checked. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but uh, there's a cat here in this one. It's good. Fiber. I'll pull that out. 
Um, yeah, I think what happens a lot of the times with my relationships is I get into a relationship that I shouldn't have been in the first place. Um, and then I'm just comfortable and I just stay in it for so long until randomly I have a switch in my brain. Like it's literally, when I say switch, like it is one day I wake up and I'm like, why the fuck am I wasting my life with this person? Yeah. And then I just break up with them. And it's terrifying to think of that happening on the other end, but I'm sure it does. I've had, um, I've had that with like situationships. I hate that word. It makes me like, well, <laughs> I don't know why it's too much. Yeah. But I have had that where like I wake up one day and I'm like, wait, what am I doing? Turned off yeah. immediately. Yeah. Ghost. Bye. But relationships, no, I just wait it out until like, until they break up with you. Yeah, and then I, and I'm I'm a really good dumpy because I won't. I'm done. I've been done. I've been done. So I'm so gonna, I don't have a choice. I'm just gonna not um, talk to you unless it's your birthday, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to. I explained to a guy the other day that was asking me for girl advice that any girl that follows up with her ex and texts her ex still. The only reason she does that is because she still wants control over your life in some sort of way. And so big red flag, guys. The whole, you can be friends with your ex, very, no. very, very, very situational. And usually it's just uh, someone manipulating their way back into your life because they want control or they want to know that you haven't moved on or they want to know that they're better of, with, they're better than whoever you lost or, or whoever you're with or whatever. I think you could be like, if it was a healthy, if you guys are both healthy humans, emotionally. It's so situational. It's so situational. Like, um. Or you're gay. Yeah. All, a lot of gays. Stay right. friends. Um, true. Um, uh, but months down, I feel like months down the line or like much in the future, if it happens, yeah. your friends, your friends, but like, don't talk. What, why would you talk after a breakup? I don't understand that. Yeah. I don't Unless you're anything. holding on to something, there's no need. Don't talk. Act like you're strangers. It helps. <laughs> Sad. I know. Thanks for reaching out. I hate that response. Oh. Just say thank <laughs> you. Like, just say thank you. Yeah. Say thanks for reaching out. I'm mad. Yeah. I also, I'm the type of friend that as soon as someone breaks up with someone, I'm like, yeah, I fucking hate him. Even though he was like, he was pleasant. He was always yeah. pleasant. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm like, yeah, fuck him. I love that. I love brand loyalty. <laughs> uh. No, I do appreciate it because one of the stages of grief is anger and I feel like I didn't have much, but like, it's fun. That's the, that's the best one. Yeah, so, that is the best on. stage of grief is being like, you know what, fuck him. Dang, I didn't make this thin enough. I'm still learning. I'm still learning about flood cookies. No, I think you're nailing it. I'm taking forever on this one. Did I do that one or did you? I did that one, oh, but it doesn't look well, very good. Really slow. It's because I didn't have much pink and so they're kind of thin. Anger turns into sadness. Yeah, well. Isn't it sadness first? No. I think it's shock and then anger. Shock. Denial. Denial. That lasted for like two weeks for me. I was like, I, 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 yeah, it's, it's I, all good. <laughs> I'd be surprised if it wasn't still lasting. I feel like breakups are so yeah. weird to absorb. <laughs> That's true. I yeah. really hope not though. I cried like a total of... I feel like you haven't cried minutes, enough. minutes, but like yeah. in the span of a month. Yeah, it's crazy. Like five minute intervals of crying. Dude, my last breakup was awful. My last breakup was so bad. That's probably the most painful breakup I've ever had in my life. Really? Yeah, when I think of like raw pain, I think of that breakup and Ooh. my mother dying. But that's how painful it was for me. It was like, like. Was it not supposed to be, oh, you didn't want it to be over, but it had to be? It was, I've explained this, I've told this story to chat before. This was a guy that I very much so wanted to marry. Yeah, I was with him for five years. The five year guy, see chat knows. I wanted to marry him. I thought he was perfect. I thought he was my everything. And then he just was never like ready for me. It felt like, like he would just never, no steps after five years. He wouldn't take any, like I was like, let's open a bank account together or let's put a deposit on a house together. Something, something, it's been five fucking years. And no, he would never ever, he wouldn't. He just wouldn't, he'd make no progress. And uh, 
And I'd always ask him, I'd be like, when, like, when do you think we could get married and like start a family and blah, blah, blah. And he would just drag his feet and he'd always tell me, this is like so manipulative now that I think about it, but I still have a problem. I defend bad people. Cause he'd always be like, he'd always tell me all these reasons that we couldn't, um, that he wasn't ready. He'd be like, you need to work on yourself more. Um, here, I'll have you take he over that one. He would say that to you? Yeah. He would say like, um, cause I have really gnarly, you know, anxiety and depression. And he'd be like, I just can't, I can't commit to someone forever who has your level of anxiety, which granted everybody can take on a level. Uh, everyone has a capacity for everything. Right? So he genuinely probably can't take on that level of anxiety of a human. And that's kind of okay. That's not his, it's not his job as a human to take on, you know, that. Um, but I like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. everybody has a yeah. capacity and I wasn't in his capacity, um, clearly. But then, so I, the breakup was, I was like, I was like, okay, well it's like, I'm gonna break up with him and then he's gonna realize, right? So I was still in love with him, but I was breaking Aww. up with him cause I was like, this is my time to like stand up for myself. I deserve someone that like wants me, right? Yeah. So I break up with him and then he doesn't understand the breakup at all. He doesn't get it. Even months later, he was, like he didn't get why I broke up with him. Months later, I was like getting my stuff from his house and he was like, so did you like cheat on me? Is that why we broke up? And I was like, are you fucking you kidding never, me? Like he was like my fucking world. And I just like, could, I couldn't believe it. He was just like, just, he just didn't, he didn't get it. He didn't get it. He still clearly didn't get it. But yeah, it was just like, it was, that was crazy. You're that was a crazy one. To cheat on this earth. I would never, I would never. I would never. And so it's just like, it was so frustrating. Um, but yeah, that was like, that was painful. Cause I was just like, I was so sure in my brain that he would just be like, that a light would go off in his head. Right. Cause he was like, in my world, he's the only person. And I think he ruined me for this. Cause I've even like told Ludwig, I was like, I don't trust myself anymore. Cause like, he was the person that I was like, I'm going to marry. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And then, uh, and then I was wrong. And so I'm like, yeah, no, I know nothing. I know nothing. Oh, right? like, that. that was my issue. Like after the breakup, I didn't know what to do. Cause I don't trust any decisions I make. No, I don't, I don't. <laughs> I just spent like a nearly a decade with the human that was not, I was not supposed to be with. And yeah. so I'm just, I feel like I'm just stupid. And I don't yeah. make the right decisions. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. But I think there, there are no wrong decisions. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. You just don't, you know, don't it's know. just, it's life's a crazy. It's literally a gamble. Every time I make a decision, whether it's like when I'm eating for dinner, <laughs> where I'm going on vacation, what I'm doing next in my life. Like this is, this could end up great. This could end up shit. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. She was with her boyfriend for eight years. <laughs> it's a long it's time. Not embarrassing. It's married. not embarrassing. It's just like shit. That's eight years. It's just crazy. I guess oh, I, chillin', it's thank good you that the I didn't have to date 35. in my 20s. Is it? Yeah, because in your 20s, you get everyone wants you. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Everyone wants you, it's all superficial. Yeah. Um, I remember I worked at a gym when I first moved out to LA and everyone was so creepy and I was like 23. Mm -hmm. And I think I could have gotten like way more dates <laughs> than I could now, but like, it was like at all ages, like uh, literally an 80 year old, <laughs> like, hey, um, yeah, it was, a, it was a lot. Where now it's, you know, less to worry about, less to choose from. <laughs> less to worry about and less to choose from. Yeah, and uh, if you're like old trying to date young, that's not fun. No. 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 Oh boy, I fucking just added way too much. You could always do that. You can always go young. <laughs> no, never again. Yeah. Oh yeah. For my age and like to older. I was like, no more young. Right. I've always done younger. No, no more. Yeah, younger is not. Well, Ludwig's younger, but I mean, it shows. But it's fine. <laughs> I love him. It's um. Yeah, it depends who you get. Right? Yeah. Not that younger is I mean, bad. I think younger is fun, and I think I really wanted that, and I think I am attracted maybe to younger or same age. Like, 
He was also only like, he was only how much younger? Three years? Yeah. Yeah, he was only three years younger. It's yeah. not that bad. It's not like, like, <laughs> just throwing that out there to check. <laughs> yeah, but I just want something different because I've always done younger and it hasn't worked out. It hasn't worked out yet, so. <sighs> Life is weird. Yeah. Ooh, perfect. Yellow. I think it's yellow and then orange and that's it, right? How long does it take for them to dry? Overnight. It's very annoying. Oh, there's a weird lime green. We'll see how we feel. <laughs> I kind of want to do it. And there's also a white. I'm not as well. I mean, we're in it. Wait, let me see if our food's here. Oh, why did... Oh, it's here. This one's broken. So if we did three, literally, I don't know, whatever, we'll see. We'll see how many I do. Is this moist? Oh, make sure you take the receipt off so they can't see where it's from. Or yeah, just leave it over there. But you can bring the food over here if you're hungry. We can have a food break. What are you gonna do in Paris for a month? Do you know? Have you thought about it? Are you just gonna like chill? I'm going to eat. <laughs> I'm going to pray. <laughs> I'm going to eat, I'm going to pray. Um, I'm going to find a nice French cigarettes. boy. Yeah, no, I don't think I'm gonna find any French boys in this month. Fair. I, I mean, maybe, but it's not really my type. No <laughs> No French to any French boys in chat. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, I'm just gonna see how it is. Guys, she's seen my mouse pad. She's seen the mouse pad. I do Are always love cheap? chat trying to be weird. Hi Swift. That's a He's just the sweetest boy. He really is the sweetest boy. I'm French, but not from Paris. If you have any recommendations for what to do in Paris, let me know. I did find a chef. Oh yeah? Talk. Oh yeah? But he's not in Paris, he's in another city, like a, across the way. Uh huh. Bye. Very hot. <laughs> oh. So I think I'll stalk him. Great, is he single? Um, no idea. But he's not stalked me before. Just kidding, Dad. <laughs> We'll see what happens. I saw another video today of a protest and tear gas was thrown everywhere, so that's not looking forward to that. Um, well, just don't go to the protest. I don't know where it was. This girl got trapped in it. But she oh, did she? Yeah. Sad. She was like on the way to the grocery store. Yeah, she's on her way to her friend's house. She's an American in Paris. She's from uh, East Coast. It's weird. Wow, you can be best friends with her. I know. I tried messaging her. She didn't answer. Sad. <laughs> I agree, solidarity with the protest, but I don't always want to be in the protest. Damon Dominique is my favorite. He's my favorite. Who's that? He's a YouTuber. He's from Indiana and he lives in Paris. Someone mentioned him. And uh, I tried to go to his book tour. He wrote a book. About what? About <coughs> traveling. Hey, could you not? He likes Damon too. <laughs> <laughs> What's that subtle beeping noise in this song? He hates it. He always does it when the song's on. 
I can hear you beeping. Oh, it was just very subtle in the background of the song. It goes beep, 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 beep. I have old ears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't hear the frequency anymore. You got Damon's book. How is it, Laura Jean? I didn't get it, but I tried to go to the book tour. They were all sold out. Dude, now, so to overcompensate for the pink ones not having enough. You're doing too much? I did too much on the yellow ones, but whatever. I think it'll be easier. It will more. be easier. Just in case you need more. <laughs> oh boy, that was too much. Making me want to travel, okay? Come, come <laughs> okay. Come to me in Paris, Laura. <laughs> All right, going to Paris. I haven't booked my trip yet because I need to get my passport and ID. I have French uh, citizenship, but it was expired because I got it when I was like 11. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, so I need to get that before I travel. What will that help you with? Like customs, like when I land, Oh, it's just easier. And they won't be like, why are you only buying a one-way ticket? You know, like, mm. you're going to get in trouble at customs if you use your foreign passport if, you don't, if you're not. And then I could work if I need some money. Oh, yeah, you should get a little job at a coffee. Chez lui. Like a coffee. Um... I don't know if I could handle that. Really? <laughs> yeah, something a little more. I was a hostess for um, a month <laughs> until I quit. Oh, yeah? <laughs> this is insane. Okay, and I, I worked the lunch shift. No one ever went during lunch. I worked one dinner shift, and I was like, yeah, this is not. I feel like this isn't for I'm me. I'm restaurant. Okay, that's fine. I think fine. I'm more retail. You know how he says that you're one or the other? Yeah. I'm definitely retail personality. Like, just in the corner folding clothes that are, are, that are already folded. <laughs> just unfolding, refolding the same Just going for it, yeah. I have to go home. That's, like, more my vibe. I don't know about you guys. I feel like you would be great restaurant. I worked retail for years, but I've also worked food service, so, you know, who knows? You do well I, I'm, a, I'm both. I just do work. <laughs> yeah. I just work. There's that work ethic. It's where I thrive. Most people are better at other things. <laughs> yeah, relaxing. <laughs> yeah. I'm good at um, customer service. Hell yeah. I got a refund for a flight one flight got rescheduled and I got a refund for the whole trip. <laughs> what? How? I just kept calling. That's so impressive. Yeah, I'm really good at that. So if you guys need... You don't say that. Refunded, let me know. <laughs> no. Don't tell them that. <laughs> I have all the secrets. Maybe that'll be the book I write. Yeah. Secrets to customer service. Turns out just be nice, usually. Yeah. A lot of people don't realize be they nice. go and swing and... Be persistent. Keep calling. <laughs> <laughs> Every day. So you have a log of how many times you've called. So they're like, I've called 32 times now. And they're like, oh, I feel really bad for you. <laughs> Let me read yeah. that. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you for the 18. I did that with the internet once. I just kept calling. I kept being so pleasant. Yeah. And sometimes they tell you no and you just call the next so day and get someone that. else. Yeah, exactly. It is a lot of persistence. That's for sure, Z's. For sure, these. <laughs> For sure, these. All right, now what? Thank you for the five months. Do you think it's like this color, or do you think it's more orange? For orange, that one's perfect. You know what? Uh, I think I think it's close enough. I'm not, I'm not like that, so. <laughs> I think it's close, and I think if I just add like more drops than usual, I'll get there. I know they're all kind of faded. Yeah. Oh, that's great. That might be too bright. Dang it, I should have just added two drops. I regret everything. <laughs> You just add white? Well, then I have way too much. We don't need that much. I think it looks great. We're just going with it. Note to self chat. Do not let me add over two drops. 
Silly me. That Jasper guy, happy birthday. Jasper's a cool name. I hear Twilight. <gasps> what? I don't see anything. No, you can't add white food coloring. All right. Okay, we're getting good at this. No, this is starting to congeal. Oh, then we didn't go fast enough. That's my no, fault. No, it's my fault. No, I'm too fast. BFF, thank you for the 400 bits. Do all the colors. Uh, this is technically, I bought it. Um, I just bought royal icing mix because it's just easier. Because technically, royal icing, you have to use egg whites, and I'm just so sick of using egg whites. Um, but it is powdered sugar, egg whites, and um, water usually, yeah. But just Google um, royal icing. But Egg whites are too expensive right now, so just use fucking this. How did you and Cutie meet? It's <laughs> a great question. It's a great story. How do you think we met, guys? I actually don't know the first time I met you. <laughs> I don't remember. Christmas, I think. No. It must have been a Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah. Oh, it no. was Friendsgiving. Yep, and you got sick. I got so sick. You're over it. No. She I hates her that. job. <laughs> You're fired. What kind of job do you like doing? Um, so I feel like you've never had a job you like. No. I've been an assistant, like executive assistant for many years. And mm -hmm. it's not, I don't love that, that job. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Are jobs supposed to be enjoyable? Mm, no, not necessarily. I was just wondering. I don't know. I guess I, I don't know. I think it'd be fun to be like in marketing. <laughs> like being a copywriter or something. Is anyone a copywriter out there? <laughs> Let me know if that's fun. I don't even know what a copywriter does. Like, write copy. <laughs> for what? Like, I don't know. A trailer for like a movie or an Instagram post. Or I'm a copywriter. It is not that fun. <laughs> okay, cool. Anyone who have a fun job, let me know. Because I'm looking. I have a pretty fun job. Honestly, you just do start doing job. this. You could do it in Paris. Just try it out while you're there. Stressful. Why? You're having so much fun right now. I feel like my heart rate is like at 180. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> or normally it's at like 45. Oh. Yeah. It's slow heart rate. Yeah. I don't know what that's about. We're almost done with all the colors, <laughs> I swear. I'm just, like you said, I'm a perfectionist and I want to get them all done. If we're missing a color, I'll be mad. 
What am I saying? Green and then white. And then we're done. There are no blue ones? No. Weird, huh? In my brain, there are blue ones, but Mine I looked at the too. box and there's not. It's like the thing. What's it called? When you think... Mandela. Or I've seen bears. Isn't that Mandela effect? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. okay. I think it Butterfly is. Butterfly effect. No. <laughs> Just keep doing your vlogs. Yeah. You look, you like those. Yeah, except they make me cringe really bad. Huh? <laughs> like I watch them and I'm really embarrassed. Oh, I don't like any of my own videos, <laughs> like if that's I helpful. Throw up. Not really, but. Oh, <laughs> it's not helpful. But it is fun. They're fun. They're a lot um, of fun. I don't know why I feel the need to post things, but I do. Well, no, it's a good hobby. But you could make that a job. Could make that a job. Didn't want it. Lime. These are like lime. You would think they'd be like mint, but they are lime. What do you mean? I'm scared. What do you mean? They're flavored? All these are flavored? No, 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 no. Look. The color. You would think it'd be like a mint color, but it's a lime color. Oh. I know. I'm gonna like make the it name light. Of the color. Yeah. It's slow over here. <laughs> she just got there. Hmm. Okay, it does need one more drop of lime though. QTC heart QTC well. Oh shit, I did two drops. Night Warden, thank you for the eight. We're cruising, and then we can eat our food and watch oh, yeah. Laguna Beach. Go no. No. How long can you let sushi sit? Oh, pretty long. Really? Yeah, absolutely. The there's Kauai sushi and No, there's the sushi at grocery stores that sit out for like... In the fridge. Oh, oh it's, you can put it in the fridge, but also it's like so fine. You're a little food paranoid. She's I a... I have a coworker who is. Oh, and so it rubbed off on you? Oh, is there no room? I added one more drop, I might regret it. I have it. a coworker, I never used to be this way. And I had a coworker, she's really scared about eating everything. So um, it's kind of seeped into my- Yeah, that sucks. Whatever, subconscious or cautious, just out there. It's, it's out just there. seeped, it's just you now. Yeah. You've absorbed it. Yeah. It's a fun green. That's a great green. Yeah, it's close enough. Very lime. Okay, lime and then white and then we're done. No, I have a whole, whole, whole oh. thing. Should we get another one? Oh no, three's fine. No, we've done three on most of them. Now, well, I guess half. I'm trying to do at least three. No, they're not. Also, who watches the Oscars anymore? No one. I'm not watching that. They are not. I checked to make sure that the streamer awards are not on the same day as like anything. So if they are, it is news to me. Oscars are on the 12th. Forehead. Are you coming to the, oh no, you'll be in Paris. She is not coming to the streamer awards, everybody. She hates streamers. I love streamers. <laughs> Oh, this one might only have enough for two. Oh, great. Start? Yeah. <coughs> it's a beeping, he hates high pitch. <coughs> Swift, I know. Some of these songs add like this really, see that beeping? Yeah. 
It's so fucking annoying. Swift hates it. It's like a matcha green. Yeah, I actually didn't think I'd like it, but I do. Here, I'll give you more. It'll be easier. Swift, I know. It's a stupid song. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know. It's a stupid song. I'm very sorry, buddy. <laughs> so mad. All right. And then white. And we're done. What does Jeffrey Bezos watch on TV, I wonder? Laguna Beach. <laughs> he loves Laguna Beach. He, he is, I feel like you're Team Lauren or you're Team Kristen. I'm not gonna lie. Uh huh. I, Kristen's used to scare me, but after watching, rewatching, I'm Team Kristen. Yeah. She doesn't really talk that much about Lauren, she's just like, Lauren's annoying. And Lauren's just a picky girl over there. It is also crazy of Lauren, like, Kristen is his girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> like, stop. Janelle, thank you so much Blood for that out. raid. Good out, Lauren. Like, I would totally be on your side, Lauren, if maybe you were, they were both single. But, like, you are doing too much, girlfriend. You really are. Janelle, I appreciate that raid. Thank you very, 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 very much. I like the decorating streams. Thank you. We are almost done. We're just getting a bunch of the, we're making little conversation heart cookies. I'm gonna make the conversations on them very crude though. Like, like what? come on my tits. Oh, uh, <laughs> Crazy. Lovely. Yeah. Something that my dad would be proud of. <laughs> I just figured it'd be funny. The more crude, like the better. Like love your schmegma, you know? Like, <laughs> your schmegma? Yeah. Sorry. Oh. Durs was right by you. Schmegma? Oh, it's the like dick cheese. Yeah. <laughs> what did we just raid into? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> Look at how angry Durs is. So close. Uh, so close, yet so far. Actually. You have good handwriting to write them? Mm, no, so they'll look kind of bad, but you know, it's fun in theory. I feel like your no means yes. No, I really don't. Yeah. Uh, what's the girl's at on the left? Mods, do you want to plug her YouTube? Nope. Nerp. Are you gonna make some vlogs in Paris? Yeah. Hell yeah. Get ready for some Paris vlogs, everybody. Maybe, even though, I don't know. What? I'm kind of shy. <laughs> You're so annoying. <laughs> I'm kind of shy. I mean, she is shy, for the record, but it's just a funny thing to say. All right. Almost done. Last one. Last one. Can I do any clean anything? These bags? Yeah, if you want to throw them away. Yeah. Perfect. Huge. <laughs> Is this the royal icing? No, that's other. That's buttercream I bought for the cake in the fridge. How do you buy this? Uh, from a cake decorating store. It's not good. Oh, well, you kind of like fake buttercream, don't you? No, I think I like real buttercream. Yeah, but I thought you like—I thought you just liked uh, buttercream in general. Yeah, it's my favorite food. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite food. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so you might like it. Berries. Can't live without them. <laughs> oh, you would know a good chocolate. Lud said that he wants good chocolate for Valentine's Day. Oh, I feel like he doesn't like chocolate that much. Same. I know. 
He's very confusing. Um, He's a confusing boy. I don't know. What's your favorite chocolate? We've done chocolate streams. Chocolate tasting streams. Did we? Yeah, Halloween candy. Oh, that doesn't count. That's not like fancy chocolate. I don't know. Hershey's is really good. I agree. Remember the time we... Tony's is really good. Dyed Easter eggs? That was fun. I eat the whole... Holy. Kind of big, and I would eat them. I would eat that. I might as well just have the sugar. It's really bad for you. Put out I've shell. never heard of Tony's. Get them candy peanuts. Perfect. Delish. Um, lint chocolate. No, I, I want like a real fancy one, not like. That is really fancy. They have molds of animals. What do you mean? Lint it's is delicious. like, like not get at a grocery store fancy. Okay, where I'm from, they don't sell lint at the grocery store. You have to go to the lint store. Oh really? Yeah, and it's delicious. New Hampshire's weird. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. He wants like really fancy. He just said really nice chocolate. Comparte. He said something like Swiss chard or something. Swiss chard? Yeah. Lettuce? Yeah. No. <laughs> Swiss chard? What do you, how do you say it again? I don't know. He said like Swiss chard or something. I don't know what you're saying. Me neither. Swiss chard. <laughs> Swiss chard is not fancy, chat said. Well, I don't think he knows what fancy is, chat. I think he just... I don't know. This is a new thing that suddenly he wants chocolate. This is new to me. He's never asked for chocolate before. I've never even seen him eat chocolate. Oh, look at these like colorful truffles. Oh, those are nice. Yeah. Very I think we've easy. had those before. No. Chocolate covered strawberries. Those are the best, yeah. But it has to be the right type of chocolate because so many people use the fucking fake chocolate. I actually told Chad I would teach them how to make pretty chocolate covered strawberries. Easy for Valentine's Day. What's fake chocolate? Like candy melts. Oh. Or just like really cheap like Hershey's, you know? No, I just zoomed <laughs> through it. All right, chat, the cookies are done. They're gonna dry. We're gonna go eat our food and watch Laguna Beach. Cheers. Thank you for coming. Have a good night. I good appreciate morning. it. Goodbye. I'll be live tomorrow at 10 a.m. Sharp with a sponsor. Wow. <laughs> I know, You're I forgot sad. I had a sponsor. 10 a.m., that's so Yep, early. I'm very sad about it. Did you the time? <laughs> yep. Wow. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye, guys.